I go black. Doing intro. Last time. Quit job. Go back to school. Try to learn. Cheat. Kicked out of school. Now we in factory. Very bad. Industrial revolution. Mistake. Now we fight. CEO. Jeffrey Bezos. Like and subscribe for two go black points. Okay. So what's up, everybody? Welcome back to Just Roll as your boy Quizly. I'm the DM. Hit me with your fucking character names. What's <laughs> up? My name is Bizly, and I play Chip. Does anybody oh. want to play Among Us? Listen, guys, Arlen's back. <laughs> Corpse husband. <laughs> Corpse you can't husband. play oh my God. Corpse husband. Yeah. I'm a huge fan. What's up? Nervous. It's me, Saikuno. <laughs> Dude. <laughs> They're going to hate us. <laughs> no. <laughs> oh, no. I hope Corpse husband watches Just Roll with it. I, that would actually time. be really. That would actually be really awesome. No way he does. Like, pretty awesome, yeah. My name's <laughs> Condi. I play Jay. <laughs> What's up, guys? I am not, in fact, Saikuno, your favorite sussy of Bogus of Bogus. I am actually Charlie Slimesicle, and I play Gublek, funny little goo mm. non-Newtonian fluid man. You sometimes not soft, Gillian sometimes hard. Makes me want to cry. It really I'm, does. It's really like fucking it, sad. It really. Can you say it one time? Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Me? Here. I hear. I'll actually change my intro. What's up, guys? I'm Charlie Slimesicle, and I played. Gillian Tide Strider. So, guys, no, before the accident, where we last left off, the three of you, Chip, Jay, and Kublik, went through these dollhouse trials. So, first, some kind of themed escape room, and then into a classroom where uh, Chip's arms got turned into these knitted puppet like arms. Afterwards, you guys escaped, saw that you were in some kind of factory, while Chip and Gublek ran forward and away from the ghoulish pig girl with the mask, and up some steps, Jay and Felipe ran back and discovered that this factory was filled with these husks of, uh, of, of like, doll-like humanoids or, or, or the like that are just a mixture of different uh, knitted together beings and decided fuck that and ran back <laughs> to, to follow Chip and Goob-like yeah, who had just uh, made it to the top of the steps and arrived to see this sort of uh, uh, raised metal platform and high above some kind of circular chamber of steel pipes and metal and steam and, and, and gears and it's, it's raised very, very high up, and you saw in front of a bunch of screens that seem to be watching uh, different areas of this section of, I guess, this this building, uh, including the steps that Jay and Felipe were running up to catch up with you guys. Turn around, and that's where we end the session and where the journey continues. And as this figure sort of steps forward, Gublek, there is an immediate, oh no. familiar sense of not only power but fear you feel the power rating off this of person Amazon? and and you feel fear as jeffrey bezos no i'm kidding um <laughs> <laughs> this tall lanky uh humanoid steps into a bit of your view where now chip and uh Gubla can see and just as they do you both feel jay and felipe reach behind you guys in the doorway in front of you, there's this long sort of a metal catwalk that leads into that circular raised metal platform. And behind them are a bunch of screens and to the left and right sort of circling uh, or surrounding the perimeter of this platform that they are on uh, is a bunch of these like different stitched up plushies and dolls and Ooh. figures. And you get a good look at them before they speak. Well, they say, I'll say they speak first and you hear, oh, uh, welcome in. <laughs> <laughs> that was not what I expected. No, I don't think I ever could have anticipated that. <laughs> we have been expecting you. You see, they have this long, angular face with silver hair that sort of spikes back as if it just been hit with an icy gust of wind. Their eyes aren't visible behind these exaggerated uh, gold and circular glasses that seem to have a constant glow. And most of their, uh, most of the skin of their face is this unreflective white with no undertone, similar to like paint. While the bottom half of their face, from under the nose uh, and white lipstick, is black. 
The two complexions are stitched together by golden thread, both unrealistically pure in color as if artificial. And you can see their arms or hands are under what looks like this white and gold decorated double-breasted poncho lab coat hybrid. But you can see two long legs that seem to be made of steel painted white with intricate gold designs. And I can show you guys what oh, you're looking you at. Yes. No way! Because I got this commission, of course, by Shan. Uh, I can't show you the full Thank thing you. yet because it includes a little bit of spoilers, oh, but yeah, I will show you the main one. So here you go. There's more. Yeah. Well, there's oh, just a, there's just half of another image that sort of shows a bit of a a bit more, but Whoa, that's what you're looking okay, at. So they're, like they're, also, they're also oh. rocking the funny cloak thing going on. Mm. Oh, okay, all right, all right. Yeah, almost similar to Gublek's cloak, but... Dude, this is like actually a Bloodborne Seeker boss. <laughs> like... <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. As they step forward, turn around, okay. and then greet you four, or five, right? It's five, including... I'm here, me, Felipe. Uh, Felipe goes... <laughs> hey, what's up, oh, Grizzly? <laughs> uh, they turn back around and look at the screens, and you would see uh, flashes of, like, those different sort of chambers that you guys were in, similar to, like, the, the classroom and whatnot. But there yeah. are not humans like yourselves, but just different other humanoids, uh, different figures going through some trials, oh. and they say... Isn't it so engrossing to watch how humans and the like react to this ridiculous false scenarios? Putting the little rats in a cage to watch them scurry. Jay and Chip, I told you, education system is scared! Uh, <laughs> hey, sorry, I think we went into yeah. the wrong room. We're just gonna- The I door slapping <laughs> Gublek's face Shuts behind you <laughs> really <laughs> loud as the door just like closes. Uh, and now there's like this red light that is uh, <laughs> flashing uh, in the in the chamber. I don't want to be here anymore. Well, Jay, wow, aren't you just a real, got those game-changing <laughs> opinions? Good you know idea. Yeah, I Good idea. Wait, wait, I agree okay, with you. Okay, I'll get out. I'd like to look for an exit. <laughs> Me as well. <laughs> okay, you guys can roll a perception check. Perception. I open all of my eyes. Oh, I, I only get a nine. natural one. <laughs> I got perception, a nine. Perception. I just look at I just look at Chip instead and open my mouth very slowly. <laughs> oh, we all rolled so shit. You are all. <laughs> It is almost, you are blinded by the amount of screens uh, behind this figure. And they turn back and say, um, if you didn't want to be here, I guess you shouldn't have come. But I am quite pleased with your results. Yeah, yeah, um, uh, thanks no, so much. We really, you know, pride ourselves on education. Do we get to go <laughs> to the third grade? Jay sort of like takes a deep breath in and tries to like compose herself. Was it you who took? Pretzel, she she does look a little afraid in the face of this guy, but uh, the frog to puss pink. Uh, my my fi my fish friend, Gillian had her, and and somebody took mm, uh, a fish friend, a fish, the blue one. Now I understand that there is one missing. It's such a shame that they couldn't make it. I assume you're speaking of this special gift I had just for them, and uh, they begin to walk towards the left. And what do you guys do as there's this sort of Some walkway bitch. towards their, their main sort of platform? Do you guys stand by the door that's shut behind you and locked, or are you going to walk forward? I feel like I want to stay as far away in the room as possible <laughs> from this person. I'll go. I'll go. You start walking forward? Felipe will Okay, if Chip you. goes, I hide in his, uh, I hide, I'm going to hide in his pants. Okay. I, I cock <laughs> my gun in my pants. holster. Okay. <laughs> I hide in, I hide in Here, Chip's Gublek, pants. Here, like hide in my pants. Can I try and like hide in my don't, pants don't, while the person's what? not looking as well so they don't know that I'm in his pants? You're hiding in whose pants? My pants. Chip's pants. Oh, I mean, I mean, if Chip consents, then yeah. You can well, get Chip would know. Hide in my I pants. Want, Chip, it's fine if Chip and Jay know, but I don't want anyone else to know. All right, uh, Felipe will roll. Okay, <laughs> yeah, I guess Felipe. <laughs> uh, yeah. Uh, uh, he rolled so a natural gonna... one, as you can see. Okay. Oh my god. All right, should I? I want to I wanna remain hidden from this guy, though, so I, can I yeah. roll stealth for that? Okay, Go ahead sick. and roll. Because I don't want to be are seen serious. by this you're, you're fine. I'm I mean, serious. I'm serious. I want to be in his pants. 24. 24 is good. You would know that um, they saw you come in, but Okay, but they you wouldn't know that I'm in his pants. Okay, yeah. cool. Have you been working uh, out? Yeah, thanks for noticing. <laughs> yeah, so they won't. They, you assume that you're well mm -hmm. hidden in his pants. Chip just looks like he has a nice quadricep, quadricep, quadriceps. All right. Oh my God. He's yeah, nice I, I remold my body to look like huge quads. <laughs> <laughs> I start walking forward. Wow, I, I do look good. I start strutting. 
<laughs> They're like rippling, um, yeah. He looks like Squidward after he eats all the Krabby Patties. <laughs> I look over at Jay. I like swoop my hair over to look at her. This is why you don't skip leg day. Swoop back and I strut. <laughs> You've never done a squat in your life. Not only do you have I mad quads, away, dude. There's a middle finger behind me. <laughs> <laughs> Goob like makes him look mad caked up now. Oh, I absolutely do. I simulate oh, the ass cheeks with each stride. There, yeah. there are jiggle physics. Huh, the dude? recoil, the recoil's cra It's like the recoil increases every time. Like the cheeks are getting further and further from the ass. Your, with every your stride. insults bounce off of my supple ass. Back to the back to the scene, which is incredibly in this serious. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> you walk, um. you walk uh, forward as you watch this sort of figure uh, go to the side to this mountain of uh, plushies and, and the like. And depending on what you show us. You might be lucky that Gillian isn't here. Oh, shit. Her hand's still on her gun. Mm -hmm. <laughs> he sticks his hand into this pile and just rummages around. Yes. Uh, uh, it should be here somewhere. Um, uh, um, oh, yes. I am quite proud of this one. And um, it just sort of stands straight up. Oh, no. And then as he turns around, you see this very identical, soft plushie that looks just like pretzel. Extremely cute and marketable. <laughs> no! Now we have to make they one! They made pretzel more marketable! It's a shame that he couldn't be here to retrieve it himself. I mean, he, he did give it to me so willingly. Uh, and you would notice that sitting on top of the other uh, pile of plushies is that ghoulish pig mask girl. Sort of kicking oh. their feet. Oh, shit. Being silent, not really saying anything. Roll another perception check. Yeah, hopefully this one's good. Fuck, dude, nine. There's something, um, there's something that connects both this, um, ghoulish pig girl and also Chip to uh, this figure. Um, uh -oh. but you're not sure what it is. And, and Chip. Hi, uh, and my official title here is the puppeteer. And due to your results and the trial I set before you, I think that this is the. Four, four of you, minus one, have the potential to perhaps intern underneath the doctor if you'd like to join us. Look, we're not here to join your weird, freaky puppet show. We just want our friend back and his pet. I have not seen your blue friend, but by all means, if you want to give back the gift I made. And uh, they just reach out from underneath the... Uh, there, that, that sort of uh, lab coat that I sent before. There's just two hands that reach out and they extend a bit too far <laughs> towards you guys. Uh, um, I would like to insight check you, you this are, person. You can roll insight, but you're all looking at, except for Gooblek, you're looking no, at- Can I unzip it? Can I unzip the fly and look at it? <laughs> okay, yeah. You eyeball like through the fly. <laughs> that's so, um, that's fucking the eldritch penis. <laughs> I'd actually- 11. Jay is pretty sure that the situation is that he turned the actual pretzel into like a little, a little plushy. That's yeah, clear. Um, it's very clear. I mean, you can yeah, tell okay. that that is pretzel in this soulless plushy form. And with your inside chip, what are you trying to garner? Like, what are you I would looking for? Like, I would like to know- if he has seen Gillian and is lying to me, mm. and if he is true, if he looks malicious in general. Because of the glasses covering the eyes, it's hard to tell whether or not he's telling the truth or lying. Mm. But from the sort of casualness, it seems as if he's being pretty honest, hasn't seen Gillian. As far as malicious intent, there doesn't seem to be any negative intent at the moment, but you can feel a very malicious sort of aura surrounding the whole vibe in general. And and just so I understand, he's handing us the pretzel plushie? Mm -hmm. Have we taken it? Can I take it? You can take it, yeah. Okay. I wanna take the I wanna take the plushie from him, but like quickly and in a and in a like floppy motion as my arm my little <laughs> puppet arm head up. just kinda <laughs> No, I put my head on and try to stop him. Damn, we'll but... take your gift back as soon as you turn her back. Mm. Oh. No can do. I mean, this soul was quite filled with, I almost want to say magic. It was such a beautiful one, and we sort of need this to fuel our escapades I my gun here. and pointed at him. <laughs> and now the mood all around you begins to sort of shift as they, uh, their body language shifts into this more, like, disappointed. You're going to turn her back. 
She was already a gift to Gillian. All right, guys, maybe we can just work this out, right? You know, maybe we can get Pretzel back and nobody has to shoot anybody. There's a lot of tension going on right now. Obviously, we've got a lot going on. Mm, Perhaps how there's... peculiar. If I was mistaken, I would be primed to say you are rejecting my hospitality. No, no, no. No one's rejecting hospitality, right, Jay? We're not rejecting anything. Jay's We're just side eyes chip really hard. <laughs> <laughs> We're just looking f for our friend, and we could sure use some help doing it. Once we get him back, he's really gonna want pretzels, so we, we kind of need her too. You seem like a reasonable he doesn't. person. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you got, a, you got a good head on your what I think are shoulders. Let's say we just call it a day and, you know, maybe we can give you something else and you can give us pretzel back and then you can point us to Gillian and we'll be on our way. I want to ready an action to blast out of chips fly in case this goes south. <laughs> okay, roll persuasion with disadvantage. 19 with disadvantage because I have a plus 11. That is a rogue moment. If you would be so kind to put down the gun before things get a bit hairy. Yeah, yeah, of course. You are in my domain, which I rule. I flop my my puppet hand on top of the gun and I'm trying to push it down, but my hand just kind of like flops around it. Jay, yeah, Jay. it's it's pretty Jay. sturdy there. It's making collision noises on the gun like in Gmod. <laughs> it's like Gmod, yeah. I like, I like the insight check of him to see if he actually looks willing to cooperate with us before I put down the gun. As I've said before, Natural 20, actually. <laughs> I do not know where your blue friend has gone off to. But if you are interested in joining our cause underneath the doctor, you may exit in which you came, because you will not be going further than here. And you can see, uh, Jay, that <laughs> while there's a bit more pissed offedness in their tone... <laughs> <laughs> Anger? <laughs> he won't attack at the moment because of what Chip was trying to say. We're not joining any cause here. We're just looking for our friend, like I said. Such a shame. You had fiery souls, I can tell. The doctor would have been pleased to have your assistance. Yeah, I, I bet that's a real shame for you. Real bummer. Look, are you going to help us? With what? Flop my little hand over towards Pretzel. Well, first of all, Pretzel. I don't understand. They are perfect the way that they are. Hey, buddy. I try to snap, but I don't have that. <laughs> I, I clap my little my little puppet hands. That's not, she's not alive. They, the puppeteer, which they have now introduced themselves at, walks closer towards you. Hold, who's holding Pretzel? Is it Chip now? Yeah. Walks closer and then sort of bends down to get eye level with Pretzel and spikes it. They stand back up, turn around, walk towards their screens. I look over to Jay and I'm, I just mouth the words, what the fuck? <laughs> you can see her finger is, is twitching on the trigger. What are we, what's going on here? I, I take know. pride in my work. I'm sorry that you are unpleased, but there is no reversal. I shoot. <laughs> oh, okay. Oh, okay. All right. All right. <laughs> so the in the chamber, just the the gunshot reverberates. <laughs> Go ahead, roll a hit. Uh, that is a twenty-six to hit. Twenty-six hits. Roll damage. Yeah, I mean, be... fuck this guy. And everybody, Honestly, and damage. everybody, roll initiative. Okay. Since I had it readied, can I burst a tendril forth out of Chip's fly to lash at the puppeteer? Okay. Go for it. Okay. Great. Um, in a great burst of gunk uh, from Chip's pants comes like just like a, a big pseudopod that turns into like, I'm going to do it as piercing <laughs> damage. So it's just like a straight sharp tendril that flies out like 10 feet towards him. It's going to be a a 15 and a 19. So uh, the 15 okay. misses, the 19 hits. Okay. All right, what? so he's he's just going to take um, seven piercing damage and one acid damage as this tendril sort of splats into him and then like slithers back into Chip's fly. Is your, is I, your, <laughs> is, sorry, is the tendril an unarmed strike? Yeah, it's like a monk thing. Yeah, are you on, are they magical? Uh, yeah, Chip's it's all, all the damage like I'm doing is magical. back yeah. and it's like comically like just my <laughs> pelvis forward <laughs> as the, uh, the tendril <laughs> flies out. That's so funny. Yeah, I like to picture that your your stuffed arms go in the opposite direction, like a fucking like <laughs> massive hip thrust. They're like blown back by the force. I'm staying in your pants this entire combat, if it's possible. I want you to know. Chip, you notice, uh, sorry, Jay, you notice that your bullet doesn't do as much damage as you would thought, though you do shoot them uh, directly. 
and you just sort of like okay. you sort of sort of hear this weird. Stink. It's not even like you hit flesh. And as Gublek pops out, strikes twice, and I, I want you to know, I don't, I do not fully pop out. Just the tendril, tendril coming out of the fly. <laughs> Oh my god. And then god. it immediately lashes Whoa. back in and the fly zips back up. Hey, dude, I promise that wasn't me. He's got a mind of his own. I'm pointing to my penis. <laughs> <laughs> you, uh, on your turn, you'll have to roll stealth a second time with disadvantage if you want to stay hidden. Okay, cool. But anyways, they don't say anything. Actually, <laughs> wait, I'm, tendrils they pop out of your pants. They don't say anything when that happens. And they look at Chip no and they go, words. somebody is quite excited. Yeah, I guess you could say that. <laughs> on second thought... I think I'll remove your souls as well. Was it good for you? <laughs> Shut the fuck up, Chip. Okay, okay. And uh, with that, as they say that, <laughs> this sort of like projected cone of magical puppet strings just sort of uh, erect underneath their cloak and then oh. shoot out up into the sky oh, and around you guys. And for uh, before initiative starts at the top of, uh, of the round here, everybody roll a dexterity saving throw and then Chip, oh, shit. roll it with disadvantage. Uh, 23. Oh, it's because you've got fucking puppet arms. I got a 24. Oh, I got a 25. <laughs> Felipe rolled a 13. So these strings uh, fire out, and uh, Chip, Jay, and Gublek are able to defend against them, cutting them in half or just dodging completely. No. However, Felipe, Felipe. As, they, as they sort of no. almost like needles stick into each part of his arms and his legs, and you just watch as his eyes go from having this sort of spark in them to dulling over. And oh, he just shit. looks up slowly, and then his arms dangle up as if he's just been sort of like puppeted. What's everybody's initiative? I kind of missed that. Uh, oh, Jesus. Oh, 13. 10. 7. As this happens, and you all watch with the effects of um, Pretzel being turned into this marketable plushie, Felipe now being <laughs> stringed up and ready to be controlled, um, the four of you feel sort of a second, almost more than a second wind, where you feel by adrenaline, revitalized, and you can mark long rest for this uh, <laughs> combat on your sheets. <gasps> Thank you, DM! <laughs> Thank you, DM. I Thank you, died. DM! That's you ever awesome. hear of biting off more than you can chew? Because <laughs> that's what I... You ever hear of <laughs> shooting the guy before I say things to him? <laughs> he didn't deserve to be tossed you to. ever hear I shake you like a little baby <laughs> I pick you up I shake you it's okay we kill him now yeah it okay we can't why am I talking like this <laughs> he starts to infect me I start to get a little gelatinous <laughs> you got a little bit of my blood too top yeah. round is going to be the puppeteer which now I can now send you the full art of this oh. character as oh. they sort of uh, lean forward and out from under their cloak you not see just one, two, but six of these stitched hands that seem to be different limbs fused to their body um, of different colors. One's white, purple, green, red. Another one is made of crystals and the other one is just completely dark. No color, oh, no, no reflecting of light, nothing. Almost looks He's like space. Grafted. Oh, this this character is so fucking cool, man. I like how he has like the, the hands around the neck. Yeah, Three right. of these hands. The big Three different hands is going to strike forward. Two of them is going to hit Jay or try and hit Jay, and another one's going to hit uh, Gublek. Wait, Chip, because oh, Gublek I'm is still his band. He's gonna need to go. He's gonna need to go through the fly. Sorry, yeah. <laughs> he's gonna need Dude, to. Dude, he's the just fly. targeting my dick. <laughs> yeah. That's kind of weird, okay. bro. Bro, that's a little <laughs> sus, puppy. So that definitely hits a nine plus. Uh, I can't tell you what the plus is, but it's like twenty-seven to hit. Holy oh my okay. god! Yeah, and I'll roll for the second one for you. That's going to be twenty unnatural to hit. Twenty unnatural would hit those. Um, I rolled very high for both of those. And then for Chip, that's going to be I'm rolling awesome, like twenty five to hit. Hey, it's above a fourteen. Yeah. Then yes. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So a fourteen, bro. That's what I got. This red, sort of almost like draconic or or fiendish hand strikes you first, Jay, as you get sort of punched in the face, and you take <laughs> you take ten points of bludgeoning damage. I, I I never had armor equipped. It's fifteen. It's fifteen. It's fifteen, not fourteen. All right. Well, so much armor armor how equipped. long? How long have we been doing this show? Wait a second. It's you can't be serious, never, man. I've this never is equipped like armor. 
This is top five Bisley moments. As you get punched by this red fiendish hand that's sort of stitched with uh, like a different sort of uh, creature, it punches you in the face and then this flame sort of expels out and singes across your face and you take an additional eight points of fire damage. Okay, I'm already half dead. You're half dead? <laughs> no, it's like a quarter. I'm a quarter away. This second arm comes to hit you, um, which is this sort of uh, purplish hue. You take 12 points of bludgeoning damage. Just, these are just really good awesome rolls. And then I need you to... You take two points of lightning damage, and you feel as if okay. you're unable to take reactions until the start of oh, your next turn. Jesus Christ. If I die here, I die... Uh, Fighting for my ideals and for Bretzel, <laughs> I guess. That's the way it goes. If I yeah. die, I die with puppet arms, bro. We can't lose. <laughs> <laughs> if I die, I die as pants. So Chip, a green sort of uh, covered in like spores and goop. Uh, spores. Strikes you in the face. And is Gooba technically within like five feet? Of Chip, yeah, yeah he's pants. Fucking lootly, yes. I am his legs, yeah. Chip, you take uh, nine points of bludgeoning damage. I take half because I'm different. One sec, one sec, one sec, one sec. <laughs> Go I like that he can actually say that, and it completely is cool. <laughs> I take a hundred percent rules. <laughs> Rogues are so funny, bro. Can you rename that ability to Built Different on your fucking shit? <laughs> I, 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 I had Please that thought, do. yes. You also take uh, two points of acid damage on Gooblack Roll a Con save. Oh god, okay. As it strikes you, sort of drips down your neck at this incredibly fast pace and into your pants. And Gooblack, <laughs> no, it drips no. on you. Uh, 14. Okay, you pass, you don't take any damage. Oh shit, okay. Whew, that's a pass, fuck me. And uh, with that, next up is Felipe. I'm just fucking you guys up. <laughs> oh no, because he's puppeted. Oh god. Felipe looks at, I guess, is he, would he be closer to Chip? Yeah, he's closer to Chip. So he just says, Oh, bless. Uh, <laughs> it is my destiny. <laughs> <laughs> no! Oh, that's so fucked. And he's gonna, he's gonna strike you with his uh, dagger, which you just saw. I rolled 14. I'm guessing that doesn't hit because you have a 15. Yeah. All right. He, wow. He just straight up misses. <laughs> now I have a 15 because I'm God, this is, this is armor. incredible. Guys, what is something that uh, Jay would say? All well, right. Yeah. What's, what is Jay's signature catchphrase that she always <laughs> shouts? Well, anyways. Before she goes into battle. Felipe you gets idiots. puppeted over to your. <laughs> You're all stupid. Okay. So. <laughs> I hate you. Felipe gets puppeted over to Jay, reaches in your pocket, pulls out a stone, uses bonus action to cast magic on it, and he says, Mother motherfucker. You're all stupid. <laughs> <laughs> and, Felipe. uh. I don't know. That's my catchphrase. Oh, no, I hold my puppet arms catchphrase. over my heart. <laughs> can, you, can you throw it as soon as you cast magic? No, on? no. It's an, no uh, it's an action to right. throw it. But yeah, bonus action can so he just holds it in front of your face. He's like puppet. Your pockets full he of looks rocks, so weird. <laughs> it's in like I'm your like, pouch or something. Um, I always have rocks and pocket sand. All right, that's uh, that's this it. That's been it. canon for a while. That's Felipe. That's Felipe's turn. Who you can definitely tell has been controlled. He's gonna roll. Yeah. Uh, another dex. Mm -hmm. No, I guess he wouldn't be dex anymore. It's a strength save, and he fails. And uh, after that, finally, you guys, Chip, you're up first. What are you gonna do? Mm. Uh, all right. I open up my pants. Hey, Gooblack, you got any ideas? <laughs> oh, hey, Dad. It's peculiar oh. you call your little thingy Gooblack. <laughs> you don't name yours? Everyone does. If you say no, you lie. But my dad, what name of your dick? <laughs> little Can Big we... Planet. <laughs> oh, no, 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 no. Is it because he's a grown out of When you look at Gooblack, he goes from smiling to pure fear when they when he says Little Big Planet. I call it Sack Boy. Who is speaking? Why does your pants talk? Oh, no. Um, because he's just a little guy down there. You're going to fail your stealth check for sure. <laughs> Sack boy to get ready for the big adventure. We're on railing right now, right? We're on like a, a bridge kind of situation. Yeah. Um. No, you moved forward, and it's basically like I'm trying to. You're. If you can be, imagine being in like a steel factory, and you're on one of those steel raised platforms. This one is large and circular. Oh, like scaffolding. Yeah, like and a, like it's like there's like railing on the perimeter, but you can't really see the railing because there's a bunch of plushies and other puppets and whatnot. Okay. And then you can look through the the grates of the floor below you to see that you're raised very high up. It's just a black okay. void below you. Like it just you just oh, fall if you went down. I can probably he, distract him for a minute if you got any ideas. Okay, he on scaffolding. What if? He off scaffolding. You're all on the same, like, basically, if you're trying, you, there's no place around this area, like the circular 
platform where you're going to push them off because of the screens and the mountains of plushies. So is it, are we fully surrounded? Like they closed in where we came from too on that bridge? That bridge is behind you. It's like the only way that you can. So there's okay, like so TVs all, all around? The bridge. There's TVs all around? Yeah. No, the backside of it is, 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 is like monitors. a wall of monitors. Yeah. He seems to like all those monitors over there. What if a couple of them fell on him? You're really fucking me on my stealth chick. <laughs> it's okay. Yeah, you can make another one on your turn. Good idea. Ah, uh, okay. That's a good idea. Sign sheep's dick. Dick five. I hold my hand over. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Uh. Yeah. You absolutely see a tendril come out and like slap against his arm. <laughs> this is the worst thing I've ever seen in my life. Hey, uh, Mr. Puppet Guy. I want to run over and I and I want to like run up and just like I want to kick him it's really, like, but <laughs> all I want to do is use panache. <laughs> to um, keep him focused on me. So I don't even have to really do any damage. I'm just trying to get his attention and keep him on me. And it's a contested persuasion against his insight. 12. Uh, 17 naturally, so no. Yeah, Fuck. so I rolled a natural one. <laughs> oh, <laughs> wow. Jesus Christ, You still man. got so high? Damn. All right, well, sorry, buddy. Um, I, I just run up and I kind of kind of get his attention. I'm waving my little puppet arms. Come on, how about you leave Felipe alone? Your time will come soon, and he will no longer be Felipe once uh, looks at one of his arms, and then another one he sees iced out on every wrist. Just a oh, few shit. minutes what? left. <laughs> uh, as that did not work, I would like to use a bonus action to hide. Worry not, you will all become my puppet soon. Okay, no. new plan, guys, I didn't work. No. I want to slip away. Into all right, like so your a... bonus action hiding? Yes. All right, go for it. 27. Who, 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 Jay, who? where did Chip go? I don't know. You don't need, uh, I'm Fili gone, bro. Felipe is like looking for I'm a target. Gone. What the? He you sits on the ground and pretends to be a plushie. He like I, like I guess, falls over. <laughs> I guess if Gublek is not hidden, you can you just see my dick and not anything else. <laughs> <laughs> uh, he hasn't rolled a stall check yet. All right, Jay, it's your turn. Is it my turn? It is. Oh, that's awesome. Um, uh, I'm gonna throw down a flamethrower. She reaches into her pouch and like throws out a little cube that kind of unfolds into this turret and uh, flame starts like bursting out the front a little bit. Uh, doesn't shoot yet. And for my bonus action, since I can't cast reactions, I'm going to use shield. That's my turn. Dude, so, are you going to burn down the Just Roll With It plushy warehouse? <laughs> this is so fucked up. Yes, <laughs> I absolutely am. This is canonically who makes our merch, by the way. This isn't the, the person underneath the mask is just Charlie Slimesicle. He's back. <laughs> <laughs> you thought you killed me, Chip. Tears it off. <laughs> All right. Um, so that's your no. turn? Yes. Right uh, yeah, I, I yeah. cast what is the shield and I throw down a, a, a flamethrower and that's my turn. Okay. Does the flamethrower do anything on this on this gal? Uh, no, I had to use my bonus action for it to shoot. I'm pretty all sure. right, all right. Does all it right. like say anything or like do a cool dance or anything? Good luck. Um, yeah, it, it's, it has like, it, you know those legs that are sort of like flipping around? They, they like do a little double turn they're turning different ways and spin around and circles. oh that's fucking awesome yeah. okay yeah yeah okay <clears throat> all right good luck time am i hidden because chip's hidden i'm not even sure where he is um uh, maybe i hit i just i what? dove head first cartoonishly into a uh pile of plushies <laughs> okay cool cool cool, cool. these so are does that mean that you would also notice then chip these aren't just plushies and puppeteers they're almost are like puppets they're almost like husks of previously previously alive humanoids it's gross <laughs> Don't want to be Sack Boy anymore. So, <laughs> it's almost like reverse Pinocchio, where these have been turned from people into puppets. Like it's crazy. All right, Gublek. Gublek is getting out of there. How far away is? Could I like feasibly attack from the pile of plushies with my little tendrils? They you guys just feet. dived. I'm gonna say. I'm gonna say. I got ten foot. I've got ten foot tendrils. I guess it's up to Chip. Chip, did you did you run away? How far did you run away? How far are the plushies? The I would have been as close as I could be. I didn't really want to leave melee range. I was just you can hit them, man. You're not definitely okay, cool, you're cool, not cool. within ten feet, but like you can you can die. <laughs> okay, sick. All right. Um. So for my first uh for my first thing, can I get Felipe from here as well? That's my that's my other question. I'll say Felipe now. Like you can't hit him. Okay, cool. All right. I'm gonna need to leave. Actually, I'm gonna spend a key point. To extend my range, you feel oh you feel as your pants get a little heavier, <laughs> uh, and I'm going to extend my range. And since we got that adrenaline surge, I'm going to change my manifest blow damage, which was acid before that I was doing, to lightning. So you feel as you start to feel this 
shock in your balls. And <laughs> I want to try and I want to try and burst forth uh, as thunder sludge and try and like sever the the strands connecting like Felipe. Like, can I like cut these these strings? Um. Like, and I want to do sl- I get to pick what kind of damage I do. So I want to turn. Uh, you like see as a tendril, it turns into like a scythe, and I'm gonna try and cut these these strings. DM say yes. <laughs> you just roll an arc on and check real quick before you okay, decide sure. to do that. Sure, 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 sure. They're not like physical strings that you can cut, but you can try and hit Felipe to like basically free him of the grasp. Yeah, I'm a if fucking If you try and cut these strings, that... they will go right through, basically. Okay, all right, all right. Well, that makes sense to, uh, that makes sense to Gublek. I'm going to try and hit Felipe. Um, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Natural 20! <laughs> oh, no! All right, oh, yeah, you no! hit him. It's okay, Felipe. I fix you! And, um, <laughs> Gublek fucking lashes out at him with his, uh, thunder scythe dick. The amount of damage I'll add to Felipe's roll. Okay, great. Because that's going to do 22 damage. 18 slashing and four, uh, oh, four lightning. 22 yeah. damage? Well, there's no way that he can fail. So he rolls okay, great. Uh, a seven, a six plus 22. He definitely gets free of the strings, but he looks that's like, awesome. he, he like lays on the ground. He's like a ragdoll now. <laughs> and you just hear, you just hear, uh, I did it. I saved a day. Okay. He and looks almost, my... he's like knocked out almost. <laughs> yeah. Okay. With the rest of, I get one more attack. I can fit through any gap that's an inch without squeezing. So I'm going to ooze out of Chip's pants and go onto the bottom of the scaffolding <sighs> and like climb below the puppeteer and I'm going to try and grab him and like pull him into the ground and like hold him down. Okay, you're just going so for I, a like, grapple. You, I like ooze out of his pants. I like climb below the scaffolding like a little goblin <laughs> and uh, I get below him and I'm going to like grab his legs and start to go up the puppeteer's pants. Yeah, and I'm going to try and grab him. Okay, uh, is there... A climbing speed for Gublek? Uh, no, I I could roll I could roll athletics or acrobatics if you want. Probably athletics. Okay. You're, you're better at that anyways. Twenty three. So All right, yeah. Ooh. So you're able to get there with your okay, with cool. your speed. I'm, I'm under the scaffolding. I reach up. I'm gonna grab his legs and That's I'm gonna try and idea. I'm gonna try and basically pull him pull him down. That's gonna be a twenty one to grab him. Okay. Like right. a like a twenty one athletics check. And mine's like um. Athletics or acrobatics. All right, I rolled natural one. He is completely stuck to the floor. Ooh, but baby, you have no more stealth. That's okay. I've fully, I've, <laughs> I was not really dick the whole time. <laughs> <laughs> and with my bonus action, because I get one of those, I'm going to do a flurry of fucking blows as I create I thought... two more tendrils and pop up. Oh, no, 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 no. I got two, no, I did two attacks in my movement because I just substituted an attack. So I did one attack and then I grappled with the other attack. And now I'm doing flurry of blows. Okay. Because grapple is an grapple is an attack. Yeah, nineteen to hit and a twenty-three to hit him. Yeah. Okay, cool. So twenty-six. Uh, I'm gonna do bludgeoning damage. I'm just gonna slap him with goo balls. The puppeteer looks down slowly, and <laughs> and gives you sort of this chill as they say, "How curious! A failed oh, experiment. No. Pleased to be free, and yet here it is, right in front of me. Don't eat me. You are holding down the puppeteer." And then all of a sudden, they sort of mistily step oh, shit. out of the grapple. And then they're hanging right next oh, to you shit. underneath the, the, the <gasps> scaffolding. Oh, no! And this creepy smile just stretches across their face. And they're going to use their attacks on you. I give you five gold if you let go. <laughs> this void light can comes to strike. I'll roll all three real quick. Oh, shit. Oh, fuck me. That's an 18. That, yeah, that hits. <laughs> I'm ass- okay, so I'm assuming the rest of them are going to hit then, because the other oh two God. are higher rolls. It, it, okay, yeah, 18 is my 18, 28, AC, so. and an 18 again. So. Yeah, 28 going to do wait. it, sir. So one of them doesn't hit then, because one of them was a 17. I did the math wrong. Oh, I wrote a 19 and a 17. Ever. Okay, so <laughs> two of them hit. It's going to be this the, the void hand and the crystal hand. You take 22 points of bludgeoning damage. Okay. Yeah. As the necrotic, uh, sorry, not the necrotic, but as the the void I can hits you, you take an additional two points of necrotic damage. Okay. And then the crystallized hand hits you. Okay. <laughs> he decks you in the face. You managed to dodge one of them though, swiftly. But this yeah, the speed I mean... of these arms coming to strike are unnaturally fast. And then you take yeah. an additional five points of psychic damage as they look okay. at you and instill not only fear but that sort of like this ringing sound. 
reverberates through your goo body <laughs> and causes the psychic damage. And on your next saving throw, you're going to subtract one. That's it. Okay. Uh, basically, all right. All right, all right, all right. the puppeteer is right in front okay. of your Got face it. now, goob like. Just beat the shit out of you, smiling. Oh, you and the next up is going to be, um, <laughs> I guess, Chip, because Felipe is still laying on the ground. So right now he is underneath this platform dangling. Not dangling. I mean, he had, like a spider has six arms Ooh. and it's just sort of like attached by most of them and using uh, used two of them or three of them to punch the shit out of Gublak. So he's so he's attached by three. He's only attached by three. Um. <laughs> Plus the two legs that he has. Okay, he also has two. Le- okay, so that's five, it's five, which is a lot. I yes, you. would like to hold my turn until Jay's turn. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right. <laughs> okay, dude. Next up is Willie Bay, who just sits up and he's like, Ugh, oh, oh, my head. Oh, my oh, head. Oh, you did it, oh, Felipe. You are so Felipe, strong. You are right. You resisted. Oh, yeah. Oh, I saw Gillian do this one time. And then he puts his hands. I put my hands on my chest. And I, uh, by the power of the moon goddess, I will now feel better. Ooh. Um,. <laughs> <laughs> and he's gonna lay on hands himself. No. Oh my god. <laughs> all right, that's all of them. Holy shit. Legend. Our hero. Uh, I don't have any love for you guys, though. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> I'm, just an, nice, obs- I'm just an observant little guy, okay? <laughs> <laughs> and I'm just, that's gonna be uh, Jay, I guess. You see that both Gooblek and, and the puppeteer are underneath your feet now. Oh, 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 oh. Yeah, hey, um, what's going on? Anything interesting? Well, there's the guy with six hands. Oh, yeah. I got an idea. Me too. What's yours? <laughs> I'm thinking maybe we uh, we string him up. Holy shit. <laughs> that was my idea. <laughs> Holy shit. Are you sure you okay, came you up know with that or do? did you read my mind? I read your mind, but also I came up I with I also it. have an idea. Oh, shit. Wait, he can hear us? I am underneath your, your feet. So loud, and then he tickles your toes. What oh. the fuck? <laughs> okay. Well, we need something to tie him up He's with. He's very ticklish. Oh, hang on. Uh, I'd like to run over to these monitors. I assume monitors have (laughs) wires, correct? (laughs) Nope. You hate whimsy. You hate being, you hate a, you just want us. You just want us to do our damage. You just want to see a whimsical little guy fall flat on his face, don't you? You motherfucker. No, it's okay, Chip. I I have 50 feet of hemp and rope. Wow, that's so much more fun, Jay. You know what? Me too. I have 50 feet of hemp and rope. Bro, bro, let me roll a perception check. I can't believe you just bullied wires into cannon. (laughs) Roll a perception check. I got a 14. I just want, I'm looking for anything to tie him up. Yeah, there still aren't aren't any wires, you fucking bitch. (laughs) (laughs) Oh, shit. Okay, then I'll use the then I'll use the very exciting fifty feet of hemp and rope. There, there is I, what I want to say is like stuffing stuffingless, uncompleted, if that makes sense. Plushies, almost like you went to Build a Bear, you grab the little sack, but there's no stuffing in it yet. Hey, you got those. those. Oh my god, those do you think he has a Build a Bear heart right? that we can like, like tear out of him? Maybe. Those those were alive at one point. Maybe. Yeah, I'm good, bro. I'm good. I'm not gonna tie <laughs> up a guy with other guys. Um, yeah, I'm gonna stick with okay. the rope. And I and I grab out my rope. That'd be ridiculous that's... if they had wires in the back of the monitors, man. That'd be so fucking unesthetic. Yeah, that's pleasing. where the line is, man. That would just be crazy, <laughs> dude. I mean, um, come on, too that's, much, bro. that's so this lame. This guy has good wire management. They're invisible. They don't exist. With your the perception check, you can't see underneath all of the perfect wire cable management. Yeah, I like that idea that instead of there not being wires, it's just so perfectly cable managed. It doesn't look like there is. <laughs> <laughs> it would be a strength check to remove the boxes uh, that keep the fucking cables. The hundreds right. of zip ties. I actually have a question. Are we able to get under to do this? Because he's under hanging. You guys. Yeah. Are, so like, Gublek has a fucking lot of move movement, which is the only reason why okay. he was able to do that. I you can guys, go through things, yeah. Yeah, you guys can't really do that Chip, easily. let's do this once he's back up here. I have a better idea. Okay. <laughs> I walk over to where he is hanging on. Oh, guys, I'm really And sorry. I look at the ground, and I cast grease on the ground he is hanging on. And I want to stomp on his hands. That's awesome! That's fucking awesome! I want to whack him all his little fingers. All right, I don't really get what you guys are going for here, but... Trying to Dude, room. it's slick grease. They're He's greasing his fall. hands so he fucking falls. That's right. genius. Isn't it the same place where Gooblake is? Oh, no! 
He's gonna. Uh -oh. he, he falls. He's, he, he doesn't get advantage on everything just because he's goo. <laughs> yeah, it's right, magical like, grease. But but he's not getting his little fingies stomped. I'm stomping. <laughs> you're gonna use an action to unarmed strike his fingies. Is that what you're saying? I'm not gonna unarmed strike. I'm gonna I'm gonna stab no, at them. But I think let's it, not attach I think words. Flavor wise, to it looks funnier if I'm stomping. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Okay, dude. <laughs> you can't do piercing damage with your foot. There's a line, bro. Okay, then I sit. I sit on the ground, crisscross applesauce, and bing, 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 bing. bing. <laughs> All right, that's good. <laughs> there we go. Twenty-three yeah, to hit. Awesome. That one hits. Uh, By the way, four you're piercing standing. damage. Okay, four piercing and damage. Do you cast the grease first, Jay? Yes. So when you walk over there, you have to roll. <laughs> can I? Can, can you after not? You, after you roll you your not? hit, yeah. Can you, you just not? not? We're doing it at the same time? No, we already that, said it. You already said it. All right, you go over there. You roll okay. ahead. What was your second one? All right. What was the second one? I do I... Four points of damage. You notice it does a little less than you were expecting to his body. Give away the butter knife. Mm. Um, oh, but that's a 10 to hit. Okay, nothing. Uh, but it does uh, sneak attack as well because I'm above Ooh. him. That's 25 sneak attack. Um, <laughs> sneak attack isn't magical damage, correct? No, it isn't. No. It would be the same kind of game. All right, damage. so you again see know. that it gets halved. I actually Sad. don't have anything that can do magical damage. That's 29 damage as I whack him all his fingers. Okay. <laughs> it gets halved. And I make a deck save. Yeah, you do. And 19. You also, you also make a deck save. Okay, uh -huh. so I need to make a deck save as well? You do, you do. Okay, it's I want to try and absorb the grease into me and become brown and greasy. Okay, I got a 23. Does that... That's good? Okay. Yeah. You got a 7. He fails. Oh! He fails. <laughs> what does that mean? So I guess what he's technically mean? not just prone. <laughs> prone, but he's hanging from the ledge. How many? How many arms can we get him to let go with? <laughs> that's that's my only like. How many? How many limbs is he down now? Yeah. What happens when you fall prone and you're sort of climbing? DM, you know, I think it's climbing. I think it's completely well, up to you. Fall. I think that makes a lot of sense oh, to me, I will, fellow I will players. say that my intention here is for him to fall. I don't know. I've I've climbed before and then and then failed and then I, I think I remember what happened. Okay. <laughs> All right. The you cast the grease and the smile immediately disappears as all the fingers slip and you start to watch the puppeteer <laughs> fall into the void. Oh no! Next up is Gublek. Um, uh, I guess he kind of falls out of your range. Oh hey, didn't we need that guy? <laughs> no, no, I'm cool. Uh, yeah, how fucking far away is he now? Like, how far has he fallen? I would say it was further than you can reach, probably, unless you extend it. Okay, how, how far do I, I'm asking how far do I have to extend it to get to him? Because I want to get to him. Um, I want to make sure this man does not come back. <laughs> no, technically they don't fall right then and there, so they they're still within your range. He just like okay, like he cool. just slipped and he's right there, so it's kind of like a this all happens in an uh, instant. Okay, all right, all right. In that case. I'm gonna, you see, as I charge up my goo and I create a sort of bigger tendril, and I wanna, I'm gonna try and fucking stunning strike him and wrap him in goo so he can't like react or like teleport or do any of his silliness. Um, so I'm gonna take my goo attacks. This is the ultimate cheese. 18 <laughs> and 25 to hit. They hit. Okay. All right. I'm gonna spend a key point on both to make both stunning strikes. So he needs to make two con saves. Spend two of my goo points. Become goo. The first one is like a 28. Uh, yeah, that, uh, that'll do it. <laughs> Second one is even higher, so. I'm going to stop using that move. I um, rolled a natural 18 <laughs> and a natural 19. There's like no way he'd fail. Damn. Okay, uh, he's going to take 22 so bludgeoning damage, it would have been a 6 25 lightning and damage. 26. What do you got? Okay, okay, okay. Yeah. That one to got him anyway. Yeah. You know what? I'm gonna keep fucking trying for it because I really want this guy to fall into the abyss. I'm gonna go for a flurry of blows. You're insane. I'm gonna go for a flurry <laughs> of blows, and I'm gonna go for a, uh, uh, so one, and I'm gonna go for a two more fucking stunning strikes on him. Uh, that's a 27 to hit and a 19 to hit. They hit. Okay. Got so him. he takes seven bludgeoning plus, uh, so he takes 20 that's total 20. bludgeoning. He needs to make two more con saves <laughs> before you actually do flurry of blows. Oh, when no. you oh, no. miss the first two stunning strikes. Yeah. As I'm basically trying to like wrap him around and goo, but it keeps slipping off and he's so crazy, no! He uses his reaction to do a redirection. Redirect these balls in your face. Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> <laughs> nice one. So, Alright, I reach up through the grate and I dab chip up. <laughs> so <laughs> Goob like you make those two con saves. I got a 27 on slide hand, it was a great dab. 
<laughs> yes! All right, hang on. Let me roll sleight of hand real quick between these con saves. Okay, I got a 26. That's a really wow. good Wow. Oh, my God. That's Okay, a my first death. con save is okay. a 21, which passes. My second is a 17, which also passes. I rolled well. Okay. All right. I almost God blew bless. myself. I rolled a natural 17. I think, that, I think that passes. No, that passes. 21 was the lowest I rolled. I rolled a natural 14. Yeah, that sucks, so, man. Those, uh, those all, yeah, by by a huge margin pass. Okay, Nothing but happens. he already uses reaction, so he can't redirect those two. What are uh, what was the total damage in that turn? I can tell you twenty that, plus that I just, yeah sixteen um, thirty six. Yeah, thirty six. What's what's the custom roll six? Wait, what is hang that? on, hang on, hang on. So it was yeah, it was. What would that be forty two? Yeah, forty two. Okay, forty two. Nice. Yeah. Okay. It doesn't get stunned, but you can definitely tell there's a lot yeah. of wear and tear and damage as uh, he's looking pretty rough. And next up is going to be the top of the round, the lair action. Oh. And those oh. sort of mounds of different puppets and whatnot begin to rattle. Ooh. Jay and Chip, you both notice. Goob, like you do as well. And then Maybe all of a I sudden, burn them. <laughs> all of a sudden, multiple <laughs> eyes begin to glow this dullish white. And they Whoa. all begin to like sort of uh, puppeteer their way up to start moving and walking towards you, Chip and Jay. So let me just let me pull up the swarm of puppets. Oh Jesus! <laughs> oh God! Maybe that flamethrower uh, <laughs> gets busted out after all. <laughs> yeah, you know it's sitting there. It's ready. It just hasn't been fired. <laughs> it's grease flammable. Is that a thing? We've canonized that before in previous. It's campaigns. up. To, it's up to Grizz, but it's funnier when it is. Yes. Mind you, we're also on like a grates, so like most. It's of it like dripping out. Through. It's just dripping. Yeah. It's also. Yeah. I think Goob like absor absorbed it. Yeah. <laughs> I am grease. Does that mean that Jenkins set me on fire? It would hurt, wouldn't it? Yeah, yes. can I do? <laughs> yeah, but it would be so funny. Can you, I'm actually down if you want to do that. If you want to make me a flaming ball of fucking destruction of goo, yeah, yeah. That. that's funny. <laughs> that's hilarious. Just jump in front of the flamethrower, man. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> so one of the swarms is gonna come up, and they're all just gonna try and bite you, Jay. Like they just start uh, crawling up on your body, and they're gonna try and bite you. Yes. Ooh. <laughs> Real natural a nineteen, that. man. Jesus, <laughs> guessing bro. that it's stop. <laughs> Sorry. Your dice are ridiculous. How about you today? don't roll that? These are awesome. <laughs> I love this. <laughs> no, don't love this. <laughs> you take nine, <laughs> nine teeth damage, piercing damage. But you're evil. <laughs> as well as six points of necrotic damage. And they sink their oh. teeth into you and it's very gross and very disturbing. Chip, one swarm. Why do they have human teeth? <laughs> ah! Creative choice. Uh, that's 18 to hit. I rolled 14, which is again, your AC. Yes. I'm so sorry, man. No, 14 would be his AC. If well, I, I, no, I rolled a natural, I rolled a natural 14. I'm saying I rolled a natural 14. Ah! All right, you take 11 oh, points man. of piercing damage. Half. I'm different. And five points of necrotic damage. Wait, what's the total? What's the damage total? Because I take half of that, right? Half of each. Yeah, yeah, for sure. I don't know. What did I say? So five and 11. So 16 total. Half is 16, eight. 16, eight. Nice. Okay. Yeah, you're different. I, I wiggle them off of my arms. <laughs> oh, that's so gross. They're looking into my soul. It's okay, Chip. Your soul is different. Only really, I guess, Jay, I guess you guys could all see it, but you start to watch as the puppeteer is falling. Um, they sort of, ah, it's kind of like, almost like they reverse. <laughs> They're like crumbling in on themselves. It's not quite like the Misty uh, teleport like you saw They're before. Imploding. This is almost like they're like shrinking into the size of a ball. And then you guys oh. watch as that uh, ghoulish girl with the pig mask begins to also warp and then transform into the puppeteer who's standing on top of this mound uh, of fucking. It, it's like, is the girl in the pig mask falling to death now? <laughs> <laughs> Pre Question. Kind, yeah. Yeah, kind of, it almost looks like they swapped in a way. Oh no. <laughs> bye bye. And with that, uh, it is the puppeteer's turn, and everybody make a dexterity saving throw with advantage. And Chip, you don't have advantage, just a straight roll. Dude, okay. why? Dude, I Evil. thought you were built different. 25. What happened? 25 is 20. good. 20. 20 is good. 16. Yes! <laughs> <laughs> oh? Yes, you're like mean, yes, mean. like I'm so happy my player passed, or yes, like fuck you. <laughs> I believe I rolled good. Um, no, like it's like a fuck you kind of thing. Um, 
<laughs> what the I, fuck? I love, <laughs> I love that we that we have this like I love that nurturing, we're your enemy in this fun game we play together. <laughs> I love that. I love that this environment is so like nurturing. I love and... that your that consequences matter. Anyway, so both of your puppet side arms, uh, the strings attach into them, and you guys all watch as the same thing that happened. Felipe happens to Chip as his eyes lose that color and that light, oh, no. and it begins to sort of be. Um, marionetted around it's as the it. puppeteer is moving some of their fingers in this uh, uh, jerking manner and is uh, at the same time it's making Chip's limbs move. And you also notice that mm. this sort of like knitted texture to his skin is crawling up onto his neck. Hey, well, that tickles. Oh no, Jay, you're gonna <laughs> quit him. So with that, quit his ass. Guys, I'm now, getting Pinocchio'd. <laughs> it is now Felipe and Chip's turn. I'm gonna try to not get Pinocchio'd. <laughs> yeah, that's fair. <laughs> um, first, I guess Felipe is going to try and save you. So he yeah. runs up and he's just going to punch you in the face. Thanks. He's going to try and tackle Legend. you. Oh my A god, hero. Dude, dude, this is this is and probably way better than my solution. Grizzly, can was... you answer me honestly? Do you fucking hate me? <laughs> can you like can you like just tell me straight up? Can you just like no. be real with me? Okay. Can you just like can you just like own that shit right now? He can actually me? he can actually punch you because he has zero damage to his unarmed strike. <laughs> yeah, right? yeah. So yeah. instead he'll throw yeah. that stone at you. I got you, buddy. Thanks so much, Felipe. You that's always a, had my back. That's ah. a thirteen to hit. <laughs> that misses, right? It doesn't hit. It just, right. it just like hits my face and hurts. Are you free? Are you free? Are you free? No, Are you, you free? just fucking threw a rock at me. What does that do? Damn it. Uh, on your turn, Chip, you have no control over your body. Well, fun. That's fun. I guess I want you to uh, help out the puppeteer. All right. I'll let you choose what you do. I'm going to oh, hit God. Felipe. No! No! All right, so Felipe tries to save he you. make you do that. And then Chip, Chip, you're going to use your attack to uh, try and slash at Felipe. He goes, hey, okay. hey, no, 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 no. Dude, My I'm buddy. so sorry about this. Like, we're so bros. I hope you know that. <laughs> All right, roll a hit. 23 to hit. Holy and, fuck, I'm gonna oh die. Uh, I'm gonna die. One, the next one is, uh, that's a 15. Both of them hit, you bitch. Okay, so <laughs> first one is gonna be six piercing damage. Second he looks one at you. is gonna he looks be- at you, tears running down his face, and he says, Chip, <gasps> so why are you doing like this? 12 <laughs> piercing damage, plus- I think he hates you, bro. I plus 13 sneak you. attack. Oh, he's he betrayed, sneaking. he's betrayed. So that's 25 damage to Felipe. Dude, I'm like so sorry about this. 25. Chip, why are you killing Felipe? I, do you see the strings, Jack? <laughs> <Not watching. laughs> you skewer no, I'm Felipe. To believe that you're you skewer Felipe. You skewer Felipe, and he is gushing out uh, blood from his body. And he looks, he's like, <laughs> no, oh no. <laughs> my bad, dude. <laughs> and he just like <laughs> he falls unconscious. I like that your reaction's like, whoa, man, sorry, I really freaked that one. <laughs> Dude, you almost did double his health. You almost, oh like, just killed him. You, like, you straight up. You almost killed him. Oh, my God. You almost he, just killed our DM NPC. He's okay. He's so, okay. I guess that's an automatic failure, right? Of a death save? After oh, you're the fucking DM. Do you hate us or not? What's, what's going on? Yeah, I'm going to say that's an auto fail. <laughs> you, yeah, you do hate us. He's yeah, okay, all right, all right, all right. Anyways, all so... Right, I didn't realize the number one just roll with it hater was on the show with us. <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit, Felipe, are you okay? <laughs> yeah, he's like, he's like, he's like limp on your blades. Uh, who's next? I forget. I don't care anymore. Um, wait, wait, did you even roll your save? <laughs> roll what save? Oh, he doesn't get a save. Well, I guess, I guess oh. it's the end of your turn, right? Is your turn done? He's, he's stabbed Felipe um, twice. Here, do you have more you can do? I can do for him. Um, You're just going to straight up kill him? <laughs> Bo what bonus action. He's my player insert, man. Don't do this. I have a sheep for him and everything. You did this to yourself. I've been rolling with you guys. <laughs> That's actually really true. I'm sorry, Grizz. <laughs> I'm sorry, man. I can't, uh, I can't defend your actions this time. No, there's nothing else I can really do. So, yeah, that'll be the end. But if any of my friends come by me, I'm going to kill them. I'm going to slap them with my <laughs> All right. reaction. Make a, uh, if you want to. If I want to? <laughs> yeah, if you want to. Go ahead and make a strength saving throw. Try and rip out of the strings. 18. 18 passes. You're able to rip free from All the right. strings. I would like to, while I'm being held up and I've, I've got the sword in Felipe, I want to pull it out, kind of do like a like a flip upside down and, and slash the strings and like land on my feet. 
No strings on me now, puppet boy! Don't worry. You'll have more stitches soon enough. Yeah, uh, I'm gonna shoot the fucker, I guess. Uh, what about nice. your flamethrower? <laughs> yeah, don't worry. I'm gonna use my bonus action for the flamethrower. Oh, okay, cool. Yeah, go ahead and yeah, shoot. It's a, shoot. That's a bonus action. And then he looks yeah. really fucked uh, up. I, I, I mean, I point my gun at him like, these come no strings attached, motherfucker. <laughs> shoot him twice. My favorite kind of ah! relationship. <laughs> uh, no, yeah, yeah, this is re looking really, really hurt. I mean, you guys could totally kill him. Wow, but... I rolled really bad. Oh, what'd you roll to hit? Uh, 10 and 11. Both miss. Anyway, flamethrower, he needs to roll dexterity save. Okay? As I blast, as this thing kind of like walks up towards him and, and mm. fucking blasts fire towards he him. He fails. And uh, he takes, roll better, please, nine damage. Nine uh, fire damage. damage. Fire damage? Uh-huh. Cool. That is yes. the full extent? Yes. Uh, that's it. These flames remind me of the ninth circle of hell. What? <laughs> what? <laughs> you see, my body is made of a combined amount of different creatures in the world and different universes. Different planes, you might say. <laughs> and when I combine myself with a creature... I gain their life experiences and memories. Didn't ask. I should have. Been <laughs> <laughs> I can't do that. <laughs> <laughs> and soon enough, because you have been so kind and generous towards me and my hospitality, perhaps I will make you the next part of me. That's like really weird and kind of parasocial. I don't know you. I don't even, I don't even know you, man. This yeah. is really weird. <laughs> Hey guys, welcome to the quickest mid-roll ever. I just really wanted to stop in quickly and say that we just finished Apotheosis, my campaign that I've been running for the last six months or so on our Patreon. So if you're interested in seeing a fully finished campaign from start to finish, only 14 episodes, honestly, one of the, I, I'm very proud of the story as well. Uh, go check out the Patreon. It's, it's super cool. Everybody seems to love it and I'm very proud of it. And I would love for you to see it too if you haven't already. So do that, maybe, if you can afford it. And if you can't, I'm sorry. Maybe someday we'll put it public. I want it to be, but not for a while. Okay. Anyway, bye-bye. Once we combined, we will be even closer to the perfect being. The there doctor will be so proud. Disgust. Gublek, Gublek smiles and says, Hee-hoo! I have no life experience! <laughs> and he's going to uh, come back up through the grate. I'm going to go over to him. Hold him. Um, he looks at you. <laughs> And he says, you are disgusting. <laughs> oh no, too late. We are one now. And I'm going to turn into like a funnel and start to try and go down his throat. Um, oh. <laughs> this is this is how I'm going to flavor my attacks is me. I'm going to try and basically go inside of him as he has, has offered. Yeah, all right. We're getting a little crazy with the flavor right now. <laughs> 12, 12, <laughs> 12 and a 28 to hit. 12 and a 28. 12 misses, 28 hits. All right. All right. All right. Can't fully get in there. Uh, he takes uh, 13 bludgeoning damage. I'm going to use my uh, my my bonus action to let's see, let's see, let's see. Some of the, when you um, punch him, some of the stitches that are kind of holding in his face are like popping out, and it looks really rough. Oh, renew your subscription, Stitch Fix. <laughs> so I'm gonna go for another attack. <laughs> um, actually, you know what? You know what? You know what? I'm gonna use my bonus action to use what's usually called patient defense. I'm gonna call it wobbling defense. And you, and you see as Gublek like splits off into like four other Gubleks <laughs> that just start like running around him really fast. <laughs> and uh, that's basically, I'm just gonna be taking the dodge action, but if he tries to move away from me, that's when I'm gonna get him. So yeah, I'm taking the dodge action. So he's got uh, disadvantage to attack me. I believe. And yeah. that is going to end my schnurn. I turn into gooblets. All the lair actions <laughs> reset. So... Does that mean that all the puppets fall limp life? No, it just means I can use all the, the different ones if I want. But uh, the puppet minions will bite you once more. Okay, Chip and Jay. Fun. Oh. Natural 17 on Jay's. What's Natural 14 on Chip. Uh, 21. 18 for Chip. Okay. Hit me. All right. Hit me, motherfucker. Hit me. Bite me. Bite me. Do it. Bite me. Jay. The fuck is your plan? Five, five <laughs> piercing damage. Eight necrotic. Chip, 11 piercing damage. And 10, 10 necrotic. Oh, 10 necrotic. wait, 11, so that's 21? Uh, that would be yeah. 21. Yeah. That's 11. And, and why is that that that's 11, Chip? I'm different, bro. It's just like, I, I, just like <laughs> I just like do it. Like I just They just don't do it how I do it, you know what I mean? <laughs> this area around you, it almost seems like the walls and... Uh, 
the building itself just kind of warps like a liquid as uh, the ground becomes Ooh. unstable and waves, and he starts to sort of uh, levitate like a few inches off the ground as he looks down at you, Gublek, and he says... I like it. When everything gets wobbly, Gublek gets visibly happier. Oh, yes! <laughs> Domain expansion! <laughs> I can't see why the doctor thought you were garbage and tossed you away. You could have been quite something had you stayed. And then, with some sort of legendary action. No, he can't do that. <gasps> oh, After three turns, he no. can't bust out the legendary action. No. You want to. He got as... the layer action, legendary action, then he's gonna do his real action. What's, ne what's next? A mythic action? Go huh? black, not trash! Wow. Go black! His Go eyes, <laughs> the glasses that have been sort of punched off his face at this point um, by uh, Go black, the eyes fill with this sort of inky substance, but it doesn't leak out. It's not. Ooh, ooh, it's not. Ooh, give me, ooh, give me, ooh, it's so. Ooh, it's so ooh, similar to me, what you've seen before, ooh, ooh. except it stays completely within the boundaries of the eye socket. As his eyes turn into this, these uh, inky voids. Oh no! I'm playing the worst character in a campaign with evil liquid. I'm going to try and consume it. Oh no! <laughs> and um, Gublek, make a wisdom saving throw. Fuck no. my dodge action! I got a 16. So a 16 just barely fails. Oh, okay. And with the effects, it almost feels as if the size of the puppeteer is growing larger and larger, and you are shrinking oh, below oh, him. Oh, so small. And so tiny. You're really, you're really making this us versus you, huh? I'm not. I'm not. But I mean, the puppeteer wants to get his way, so I'm trying to figure. I'm out. just sad. I'm just sad. I'm sad that he hit me with a fucking brain blast. Goob, like you become immediately frightened. Like more fear is instilled inside your body because this feels so similar to when you first open your eyes in this in this existence oh no and you're just immediately frightened so on your turn you want to you just want to dash away you have to take your like okay. turn to dash as far away from uh the puppeteer by the safest and shortest available route unless there's nowhere to move um, okay, Gublek turns into a limbless blob and says, I saw the I was born! <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right. He just turns uh, that's into like what a happens. Soup. Then three of his fists are going to come out and punch both Chip, Felipe, and Jay. I'll just do all three of you. Does that mean he's... Felipe? Does that mean I... Oh, yeah. Felipe oh, shit. Down. Oh, shit. Yeah, I guess he'll just do that. Can no. I get an attack of opportunity on this man if he's flying away from me? Or? He didn't fly away from you. He's standing right next to you. I mean, where's, where's, Holy shit. where's Jay and Chip? Wait, how long are these goddamn arms? Oh, his arms have I, more reach well, than normal, like I said before when he okay. stretched them out and hit. Yeah. We're probably, like, center of the room, wherever he was hanging from, so... Yeah, I, well, he came uh, over to where the uh, the pig girl was, right? Yeah, so that's just, where I yes. was. I'll say he has to walk away from you so you can get an opportunity okay. attack, but you okay, are frightened. Okay, I take a really, so you really have sad, disadvantage. wet slap. He yeah, lashes you, out. A little, a little tendril comes up. Excuse me, mister. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Uh, uh, 14, is that... That, that probably doesn't do it. Misses, yeah. Okay, yeah. all right. It's just, like, really sad, and then it falls limp. <laughs> it sucks back okay, into so the Okay, so he'll, he'll just make close the distance between them, and, uh... Man, does he hit Felipe? God. He'll just go after Jane. That would maybe, maybe kill him, actually. That would maybe kill him. So, yeah. 11 on Jay. Miss. 19 on Chip. Yeah. And yeah, then... We'll are you sure, bro? You got all your armor on and everything? You yes. like put some new on. armor? You get some good armor? You get some like, better armor? Yeah, There's one ready. Yeah, one more, uh, one more attack. Oh, hit me. I am so bad. It's rolled a natural 19. So I guess he'll punch Jay I twice. Hit. Just really hate Jay. Okay. But it misses the first one. Wow, yeah, he really does hate <laughs> Jay. So this, uh... Sort of similar to the legs, it's like this white steel hand that's like gold and white. Um, strikes you in the face, Jay. You take uh, six points of bludgeoning damage. And this burst of icy energy spews out of the hand. You take an additional six points of cold damage. And your Ooh, speed is wow. going to be halved until the start of your next turn. Or the end of your next turn. So you immediately just feel like... Cold as hell. You start shit right. Chip. Cold as hell. Cold, cold. <laughs> That's the hand with all the ice on it. Yeah. <laughs> with all the fucking wa <laughs> all the watches. Yeah, it is. That's the ice out. That's the ice out. How much damage out. do I take? I'm, I'm rolling it for you. Oh no, he's no, iced out. You take 12 points of bludgeoning damage. Six, <laughs> I'm different. <laughs> <laughs> and you take eight points of necrotic damage. Four, 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 four. Now why is that? Now why is that? I'm different. Whoa! 
Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I guess next up is going to be Felipe. Is she making death saves, bro? <sighs> <sighs> Yes, I do. Dude, the one time someone fucking goes down and my character's in a secret ball somewhere, I can't tell you. I guess I could roll it on there and you guys can be in pair terror with yeah, me. Yeah, can, can you do that? That would be great. It, Thanks. Surely. Yeah, roll it out in the open so we can really fucking dread this. Natural 20. Natural 20. Natural 20. Natural 20. Natural 20. He is the chosen one. He succeeds. He succeeds one. Oh, 11. Oh, 11 is so barely. <laughs> All right, so he's got we one success and one failure. You are the main character of Riptide. Dude, that made me nervous. I don't want him to die. Next Brother, up, Chip. why'd you kill him? Huh? I didn't. Why'd Chip you kill him, him then, huh? 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 Chip killed him. All right, Jay, is it time for your plan? Uh, you look at Jay and she looks fucked up. Oh, I look at I look at the guy. How yeah, how, how bad beat up does, does he, he look? look? Yeah. Insight check and like. Well, uh, I've said yeah. multiple times that he's very damaged, and he looks. Uh, his stitching, his stitching's coming out. Yeah, I just say, yeah. all right, well, I guess we got to do this the old-fashioned way. And He's I wanna, on one leg now. <laughs> it's like broken, the other one's broken off. I want to <laughs> run up to him and I want to like run towards him and I want to glide under the missing leg and You're slice, slice along one of, the seams. Seam. <laughs> one of the and seams. Oh, one of the seams. One of the seams. And then I want to flip around, run back at him and, and jump over top of him and let, let it kind of slice across his, his shoulder area. I'm really just trying to open the stuffing. <laughs> I don't like. We got We need to find his main stitch. Sure. Like, where they tie yeah. it? We Looking for the we stitches is just flavor, but like, I, like I, I'm just stabbing him. Pretty there much. is no. <laughs> yeah, roll the head, but when you slide under the coat, there it, it is disgusting. <laughs> oh no! It looks What's like basically a how do I say it? Like a rib cage of different limbs, oh. and then from that. There's just this one sort of center mass that was connected to both of the the metal legs, and then there's these six arms that sort of like uh, all all get stitched into this pole, like cylindrical center mass that just rides up that rib cage of different sort of body parts. But it's not bones. It's very weird, man. Like it's gross. As, as I don't know I how to slide, describe it, but it's disgusting. As I slide under, it ain't and I normal, see bro. This, <laughs> I let I let the sword kind of just pass along all of this stuff, and I'm looking at it. There's like a slow motion shot of me looking. Up you become this even more guy's haunted. coat, and then I look oh, over God. to the camera in horror. <laughs> All right, roll it, roll it, roll it. That first the one. The light in his eyes gets even a slight bit darker than it was that before. Is. First one is 24. Yep, you and got as, it. As I slide past and cut him, I stop just behind him before my second attack. Oh, I have seen unimaginable horrors. <laughs> But that He's is now the even worst. more haunted. <laughs> yeah, he is. He is even more haunted. Um, <laughs> as I jump over top of him for that second hit, I want to, I want to like stab it into, stab the dagger into um, his shoulder area and just fall down in front of him using gravity to slice down. And that is going to be a 19 to hit. All right. So both your attacks hit. First bit of damage is. Give him the four, sneaky beaky. Give him the two, sneaky beaky. Half because he's um, different. And then I do five. <laughs> oh, Half because he's different. No, he's different too. No. Uh, and then I do 15. Half because he's different. Oh. Bet. So 24, half, 12. I need a magic weapon so he's the same. <laughs> no, bro, that would make you different. And as I as I kind of come down yeah, in yeah. front of him, we don't have to kill you. You could just help us. Right. Help you with what? <laughs> Turn pretzel Dude. back. That's all we want. I'm saying. I point over at Jay. It's so easy. <laughs> we don't want to kill you. I mean, I kind of do, but... <laughs> As I said before, I am just the sole extractor, and I produce the vessels here in the branch of this part of the laboratory. The doctor is the one who does the fusing. Okay, so you're telling us to kill you. Or you could just, just take us to the doctor <laughs> and explain our situation, and maybe he can help. And maybe we can help you in return. It can be like a whole thing. Or is we like can a kill you, support? and it can be over. It's up to you, really. I am the doctor's intern, one of two. <laughs> How much does he pay you? I'm paid in experience points. <laughs> I'm. <laughs> we can like pay you gold. Our guy that gets rid of our gold, he's gone. We can just give you money, like real money. I have no purpose for gold. He's in too deep. Kill him. You're not into that new new crypto crypto gold, are you? Oh my God, he's a crypto oh, no. bro. Oh shit! I support the doctor's work with my life, so that one day, when I become one of the perfect beings we are creating, I can take over in his place. If you plan to get in the way, while well, I am ordered to stop you here, <laughs> that's, that's it. <laughs> <laughs> Was there an end to that sentence, or like? 
No, I think he's just crazy. All you know, right. This man's going around destroying the rules that we've founded ourselves on for language. Yeah. Whatever. Gublek? <laughs> oh, no, so scared. Oh, so scared. Oh, oh yeah, no. that's right. Hey. Oh, no, too big, so small. It's gooping time, Gublek. Oh, okay. I believe in you. Yeah, yeah. Uh, oh, <laughs> You're have... like talking to a shriveling like ball on the ground. Yeah, it's scooping time. He's just, oh, no. <laughs> do I risk going down to potentially kill him or do I heal? The question on my mind at all times. Bro, we win, these. Mean, we win these. We win these. We yeah, win these. Yeah, there we is also, I'm not going to be that guy, but I'm going to be that guy. Felipe is going to, not. he's not looking too hot. That's, That's true. He still has two fails to go. One critical fail is all it takes. Or, Dude. as we say, a single melee <laughs> attack. <laughs> yeah. Okay. You um, know, it is what it is. He's, he, he, he was pretty funny while he lasted. You, you have this. I'm going to tell you right now. Okay. You have this round to kill him or take okay. him down or something catastrophic might happen. Oh, no. You uh, can sense it in his gaze. There is now an intent to kill. Okay. I raise my pistol. And on the top of my pistol, it folds out. A little laser projection comes out with a with a nice little kind of scope on it. And I, I'm going to aim fucking true on this first attack with my revolver. You sharpshooter. That's 21. Is that hit? That is. Um, that's my first attack. I'm going to do it twice because fuck it. I'm a risky fella. That's not going to hit. Uh, so sharpshooter. I deal plus 10 damage to that attack. I have because he's so different. Nice. 3d8. He is, yeah, he is different though. That's the problem. Because Colossus Slayer plus 10 plus another 4. Well, that sounds like a lot. <laughs> I <laughs> hope like, so. I can kill him. So 15 plus 4, 19 plus 10, 29, and then a flamethrower shoots at him and he needs to make a dex save. Yeah! Uh, 12? Fails. It's 2d8. That's 8 damage. As flames engulf him. Please tell me he's dead. <laughs> 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 no, <laughs> I am in the single digits. <laughs> Son of a bitch. <laughs> I don't think we have any other turns. I'm scared. Dude. I'm fucking. I'm a scared guy. One second. Do I have anything funky I can do? All a part Does... of my plan. <laughs> uh... Does he move out of my melee range randomly? You will all belong <laughs> yeah. to the doctor. Yeah, can you just move like five yeah. feet away? <laughs> in that direction. God, that was like. As close to max damage as I could have done, too. Fuck. All you are, they get tapped. You're all just rats. I know. <laughs> and soon I will put you back in the cage. <laughs> yeah, can I do anything funky as a reaction here? I cast Feather Fall on myself so that when I die, it doesn't hurt as bad. <laughs> if I'm going down, I'm going to take you all with me. <laughs> yeah, uh... That's really funny, dude. <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ. Yeah, that's oh my, my turn. Oh my god. Um, Alright. Gublek, what are you doing? Um, You're uh, too scared. Well, Gublek is too scared. You're very scared. Um, very scared. And if I don't do something weird, <laughs> something bad happens, huh? <laughs> yeah. Possibly. Okay. Gublek can use an action to end an effect on himself, causing him to be charmed or frightened. But the problem is, that's all he can do. Um, I'm okay and then he'll now. Just <laughs> I okay now. Oh no, the <laughs> nuclear bomb. Um, so I can't physically move towards him, right? Because I'm scared. Yes, you have to actually use your turn to move far as way as move as far as away from him as possible. That's what the spell does. Do I have to do that before I attack? So basically, I'll just tell you. He used yeah, I yeah, bite yeah, yeah. the six level spell, okay, and it okay, made you okay. panicked. So on each of your turns. Oh. The frightened creature must take the dash action to move away from you by the safest and shortest available route unless there is nowhere to move. If the target moves to a place at least 60 feet away from you where it can no longer see you, this effect ends. The furthest you can get away is that door that's shut. Yeah, okay, in that case, I am going to use my action and to use stillness of mind. You see, it's like a little water droplet from the ceiling plops right in the middle of Gublek and a little ripple goes out and he stops. You just hear the... <laughs> Gublek's a dragon blop, warrior. Blop, 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 blop. <laughs> <laughs> I have harnessed my chi, <laughs> and, uh, and Gublik, uh, uh reforms uh, into Gublik, uh standing there uh, and says, "Nothing terrible will happen. I will stop you on my next turn." <laughs> um, I don't think he can do anything else, bro. Hang on. Well, okay. Uh, 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 can I roll? Can I roll a bonus action attack? Can I do a bonus action to set? Okay. Hang on. Hang on. Let me. Let me check my martial arts. My martial arts. No, I can only do that if I use a bonus action. Yeah, you uh, have to use your uh, attack action to do that. I'm pretty sure. Uh, 
Okay, all right, I found one, I found one. If I you if I spend one or more key point, I can use uh, an attack with an unarmed strike as a bonus action. So I need to find a way to spend a key point. So I'm gonna spend a key point to casually become slightly longer. As you see, <laughs> as Gublex, Gublex arms, whoop, oh, I longer. What are you, I what are you longer. sorry, what are you using by the way? I'm, I'm confused on the turn. It's okay, I use stillness of mind to uh -huh. end the effect causing me to be charmed or frightened. Mm -hmm. And then I used the effect called Traveler's Blade, which extends my reach, which uses a key point. So I'm extending my reach by five feet. And then I'm gonna try and use key fueled attack, which means if I Whoa. spend a key point, I can use a bonus action attack because otherwise I can't do it. Dude, um, you are crazy. No, I mean, it, you are literally it says as part of your action I, on your turn, but that's fine. I couldn't imagine doing anything more uh, than just my wait. action and maybe a bonus action and moving on. I don't know how your brain um, like comprehends all these words. I'm going to make my singular, singular slap, singular as, slap. I, as I run towards him and I go to lash him with my goo arm. <laughs> Boys, <laughs> um, here I go. 28. Oh. Yeah, then hits. That is gonna do a total, a grand total of eleven damage. Halved? No, I'm I'm built different as well. Oh, my, he's my, built different. I'm built different because I'm magic. My goo is magic, and he takes two that... light. So nine plus nine slashing, and two lightning. I'm gonna say as I turn my things into blades. How's he looking? Come on, baby. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. Come on. All baby. right. How do you want to do this? Whoa! Oh! <laughs> oh my god! Okay, all right, all right, all right. Okay, okay so Gublek is going to uh, find a little, a little like, hold in the stitching where he can get in and squeeze a tentacle in and grab the stitching and like start pulling it out and running around him really fast <laughs> with his tiny little legs <laughs> um, and start Chip, wrapping him up. Chip is going to do the same thing, come in and grab a loose thread, but jumping all around him, trying to wrap up some of his arms on the right side, tying him up and looking for a, any kind of anything above him to tie them around so that he can be held up. Like a puppet. Uh, you found the wires, so you tied them around the wires that are in the ceiling. <laughs> They're real! Oh my god! <laughs> nice. Uh, but like, I just want to know if there's like a ceiling in this place. Is it's there? very, very high, but there are different sort of, um, uh, I guess, like pipes and whatnot. There is also the cable managed um, wires that are riding okay. above. Oh my god, Jay, I found the wires! And I start tying them up around the wires. <laughs> yeah, uh, Jay is going to cast, grab one too, and she's going to cast jump on herself and fly over the wires or whatever is above us. She's going to kind of pull down in front of her and like kind of hoist them into the That's air. That's so Incredible. cool. That's awesome. Uh, as we all do one big fucking tug on this <laughs> motherfucker. <laughs> the puppeteer gets sort of tied up and then strangled by his own strings. <laughs> dangling above the monitors and uh, and then I and then I want to turn to I want to turn to Chip and Jay uh, and point behind them and say oh no well do they look behind them <laughs> yeah what yeah, okay I, I, I'm, I, then I eat I'm, the I'm puppeteer <laughs> <laughs> I, I'm not facing the puppeteer right now I'm facing away they, so I look behind me and I watch I look behind eat. me at the puppeteer. <laughs> <laughs> okay, they both look at me and see as my like body opens up to like a maw that just like slowly slithers up him and <laughs> consumes him. We are, we will be one. <laughs> you would have detected okay. as you guys were stringing him up, he was almost sort of like muttering to himself while casting a spell. <laughs> oh no. Uh oh. And then just as he finishes that, he gets stringed up and then eaten by Gublek. <laughs> okay. <laughs> While I'm eating him, do I hear the spell he's casting by any chance? No, he finished before you ate him. Yeah, it would have been oh. like a legendary action sort of thing. Oh, uh, okay. okay. All right, all right. But he's dead. Okay. The combat is over. And the, so pu the puppet little minions all fall duh, 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 on the ground. And Lipe, oh. Felipe is just lying there. Actually, I'll go ahead and roll. Oh, yeah, Whoa. actually, I'm going to go uh, we'll go use cure wounds on him. He fails, but... It's, it's possible. All right, you do that. Oh, uh, <laughs> second level. Oh, he Jay. regains oh, Jay. 12 HP. My sweet Jay. I'm so sorry that Chip did that to you by his own volition. <laughs> Dude, right here. I didn't... <laughs> you and me, I'm we got to get out of here. Let's on. hit the town. Let's change our names. <laughs> let's let's get married and ditch them. No more no, pirating. We can't, we can't do that. No, no. no more. We're not, not going to be... No, Felipe, we're still going to... We're going to... Then why did doctor, you save me? Let me die. <laughs> okay, I make new name. Two black. Wow. Well, that's, that's really tight, wild. bro. Nobody's that's gonna, OD. Just, nobody's going to get it. Like, it's super, Man, I'm like, sorry, I can leave you complex. laying on the ground here. You'll die eventually from, like, starvation or something if you just stay here. Well, um, damn, where did he go? 
Did he get away? Oh, no, no. <laughs> Everyone saw me fucking eat him. <laughs> yeah, I don't think you want to know, actually. You guys notice oh, that, that Gublek is, uh, is like one know. inch taller? Yeah, yeah you see size. his Gublek. Gublek grows another arm, another tentacle. <laughs> what if Gublek has those glasses? Uh, yeah, he, he like, kind of, they, like, slowly sludge out of where his face is and, like, uh, uh, across oh. onto his eyes, and now he's, like, wearing oh. these cool yellow sunglasses. You know, if we if we let him do his thing, I don't think he'll eat it. You're not going to eat us, are you, Gublek? No. Gublek, please don't eat us. That, that, would, that wouldn't be very chill. I, tru- I trust Gublek. No. <laughs> oh, okay. You guys, you guys, you guys dab. You're chill like that. <laughs> I'm chill oh, yeah. like that, bro. You don't want to eat me. Hey, so, um... I hold up the. Do I still have pretzel? Yeah, plushy pretzel. I don't really know what to do about this. I guess that's step one. Uh, um, did he fucking say that the doctor? Yeah. Well, yeah, and, but there's another intern, unpaid. Why don't they pay these Shit, guys? Man, like, that know. was not easy. Not in budget. You know, that that guy put literally died for the cause, and he's not even he didn't even get a cent out of it. I bet you he was gonna teleport away too. <laughs> I don't know. I just like with my insight, it looked like he was preparing some kind of spell that was yeah, gonna you, kill you guys. I mean, you were like dead on the ground mm-hmm. at the time. You just but no, he you just he, have a good vibe. Read. Jay, yeah. Jay, I dreamt he, it, bro. Yeah, I saw the future. I, I'm really feeling it. I mean, when I asked him about Gil, he's, he didn't seem to know. Well, maybe maybe Gil the, isn't here. Well, no, he's got to be here, right? I mean, there's Who no other explanation. Him, man? You got me now, okay? Just fucking forget about him. Felipe, you don't mean that. I'm crying. Like, literally. <laughs> <laughs> fuck that guy. No, yeah, he the right. doctor fuck. could know. No, fuck that guy. We don't we need that. We did just kill don't his go. intern. Don't go to the maybe, doctor. Maybe we did a f- him a favor. What do you mean, Gublak? What do you mean, no doctor, huh? What's no, don't go to the doctor. What do you know, huh? What do you know? <laughs> no, no. <laughs> All right, hey, calm down, Gublak. No, you I know? almost fucking died, man. Do you know about the doctor? <laughs> Gublek, do you know about the doctor? Gublek, if you know anything about the doctor, it would help us a lot. Let me roll. I'm going to roll to see if... Uh, history is we what we do for memory. Okay. That's All what right, let's do, do history. Let's do history then. 15. What do you know about the doctor well? Oh, Gublek, no. Uh, doctor Peak. <laughs> like, no doctor. Uh, doctor Scary. There oh. is, a, yeah, definitely a, a, a sort of a, a darkness behind the eyes that, that you remember that gaze. Gublek, no. Uh, doctor have very cool design when it revealed it'd be so cool. <laughs> cool, uh, cool big, big boss. Doctor gave His daddy. Birth, birth to Gublek. <laughs> oh. Like... Is the doctor a woman then? Don't know. Don't know her birth. But Gublek came out. All the screens behind you guys I... sort of flicker off one by one until it's completely dark in the room, other than a slight red glow of that flashing light somewhere. And then they all come on at once, and it's this white background with a black silhouette in front of it. And they don't say anything, and then it turns up. Okay. See, it's so bad. It's so ominous. We leave. We leave. We never come back. I be new friend. I be new Gillian. Call me Gillian Destiny. <laughs> I'm done with that one. All right, I'm on team Gublek. <laughs> Gublelian. We need to fix Pretzel. <sighs> You're right, but not for Gillian. It's because Pretzel's cool as shit. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> we can't just walk in there and shoot him this time. He wasn't going to help us. Chip. He could have. And my. No, he wouldn't have. Well, he definitely wasn't going to help after you shot him. Yeah, and. You know what? Maybe it's better for that. That guy was not good. He wasn't good news. Jay, what was your plan, huh? What were you gonna do? You gonna... I was gonna have him turn Pretzel back, or at least take us to the doctor. Maybe you he hear... could help us. Did you hear what he said? Like minutes before dying, basically just prepared the vessels. He wouldn't have helped us. He could have done something. No, if you're just gonna intent. shoot your way through all of this, we're not gonna find Gillian. Sometimes talking isn't the answer. I wasn't going to go with him. No, of course not. We weren't going to go with him. Then why would he have helped us? I'm different. I don't know. I just... (laughs) (laughs) My guy has made character syndrome, bro. Look, killing this doctor isn't going to do anything. It might. It's just going to leave us with no way to fix Pretzel. No, no, you're right. We we kill doctor. Everything go back. It's all okay. Really? Wait, go back. I thought you wanted to run away. Don't need to run away. If doctor... He's puddle. So if the if the doctor <laughs> dies, everything he's made goes back. <laughs> sure. How? <laughs> and also that would mean you go back. Science, baby. Oh. 
I don't know if that's how it works, but <laughs> I don't know. Listen, all I know is bills. that if I'm trying to talk my way through it, maybe let me. I'm not completely useless. I've only been here for a short time, so I'm with Chip. He's probably really good at talking to villains. Word up, dude. <laughs> I bump him. Zappa. I'll give you your chance. This guy, though, I don't think we could have talked to him. I think I did what I had to. Yeah, well, Word, I'm it's over now, so we're not going to know. <laughs> You see, you see a hand like reach out of Kubla. There's, there's one last thing I wanted. He sucks it back in. <laughs> Sorry about that. No, you're never going to talk to us. All right, let's just go find this other intern and. Well, preferably just the doctor. That'd be great, but I have a feeling that we're gonna have to go through the little guys to get to the big guys. It's just kind of how it. Yeah, that's kind of how these things go, I guess. But why are you not? Uh, why are you not scared? Why are you not scared? Gillian wouldn't be. Oh, fuck that guy, dude. <laughs> I'm gonna Felipe, cry. I'm gonna stab you again. Do it, pussy. Wait, wait, no, never mind. I'm... Okay, what, uh... Jay. And what, what Gillian look... Yes, no, hang hello. on, hang on. Can I do something really fast? <laughs> yeah. Really fast. Gillian no scare. What, uh... What Gillian look like? Stupid. Fish. Big blue. Blue. Uh, Useless. Has a talking sword. Green hair. Incompetent. Incompetent. Lots of muscles. I'm gonna Eyes. start. I'm gonna start to cast disguise self. <laughs> Big boobs. And I want to turn <laughs> to whatever they've just described. The fattest like a ass. horrifying two foot tall, Bruh. like shitty Gillian. <laughs> Ugh. Whoa. <laughs> that is. Um, let me see. Let me see know, if I can find a voice that's between both of them. Boobs a little smaller. That's gonna hurt your back. Champion of the undersea, hero of the deep. <laughs> how, how do you know that he's really getting in character? Wait a second, did you eat Gillian? <laughs> Gulag starts running towards the door. <laughs> uh, Gulag, you're running towards the door that's that's just completely like shut at this point. I guess, uh, Jay, like I was going to say, you do, with your passive perception and the observant feet, you do start to hear this slight like twinkle, almost bell ringing sound that's coming from inside the pile of uh, puppets and plushies and... Can I check mm. that out? Yeah. Can I dig through the, the flesh of the humans that were once? Mm -hmm. And uh but it's not real flesh at all. It's actually like wood. I know, and it's plastic. all plastic. Yeah, but they were they were humans Woven, at one point. Yeah. So what uh what role would that be? Just I guess um I guess sleight of hand. Just kinda like move things around. Yeah, sure. Try and free whatever the sound is. Eleven. Within eleven, it takes you uh like a minute or so, and by this point you hey, get chip, I hear something coming in from here yeah, you get their attention as well and mm -hmm. um as felipe and ship sort of walk over you make this sort of like whole clearing in this large pile of shit and this uh glowing blue light shoots out from inside of it and past you guys leaving this trail of like uh glittery blue streaks behind it and it flies up and then it comes uh comes back around in front of you and you just see this sort of like Almost like a sprite. It's a very tiny blue orb with like two little mm. blue wings. And it just sort of like flies around um, you guys and then around your like head, Jay, uh, and making this twinkling sound. And then it flies over to where all these computers are, like all the monitors. And it just kind of sits there and twinkles. Not like it pees, but like... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it it makes tinkles, little... yeah. It tinkles all over the monitors. That's great. Uh, I think it wants to... Look at the monitors. Oh, that's creepy. Yeah, I don't really know what the deal is. Oh, man. Stop me. I'm going to eat it. Looks like a bug. And I'm hungry. No. <laughs> don't. Felipe, don't. I go to the monitors. Don't do that. I prepare an action to catch his tongue. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you walk over and they're sort of standing next to a few different buttons on this console. Um, and uh, they sort of like, almost like mime uh, an order of buttons to press. And I'm assuming if you follow their instructions... Mm -hmm. uh, do, you, yeah. you guys hear beep, 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 and then there's like, and then this monitor is like uh, sort of in the middle part, just sort of like split open like a pathway, and you see leading behind there is another walkway uh, raised above this platform into another hallway in the steel building that seems to uh, go up more steps. It just flies over towards that, that I guess, entryway or exit way behind the monitors. Hey, we could take a breather. Yeah. That, guy was, that guy was tough. I, I felt like stabbing him. I didn't do anything. I my bullets flew off of him or into him and then out of him, but like less effectively than normal. <laughs> we have all of Gillian's items, right? In the yes. briefcase of holding. Oh. I'd like to open up the briefcase of holding. Hey, do you think uh and I open it up, I start rummaging around. Do you think I could use anything of Gillian's to do something? 
Maybe. I'd like to look for his sword. All right, yeah. So you pull out the sword. Oh, shit. Oh. God, fuck, that's heavy. And there's a slight hum to it when you pull it out. It's humming. Hello? I hold my ear up to it. Nothing. I just mean it was sort of vibrating in your hand as you take it out. Even yeah, it, was something a cool, it was something the theme to just roll with it, obviously. <laughs> you think I could use this? No. Maybe <laughs> not the same way that Gillian did, but... I don't know, are you proficient with swords? Uh, I'm proficient. Uh, rogue, Rogues are proficient with long swords. I looked it up. I, I mean, a sword's a sword. Sword's a sword. Uh, maybe maybe better than the butter knife you're using. <laughs> oh, this isn't the butter knife. I gave the butter knife away. This is, this is oh, just like right. a piece of wood. You get a sense, uh, I've check. got a lot of splinters. <laughs> you can hold Holy shit. and use the sword as a normal sword, but you can't. It wouldn't are, do magical damage. I mean, the sword will, but you can't use any of okay. these sorts of effects. You can't attune with the sword. It basically it does magical slashing for you <laughs> if you That's use smart. it. Okay, uh, a little lit, littleian have idea. Um, Jay, give me, give me all your bullets. I really thought you were gonna say bones. Feed me bullets. No, unless. I can give you some of my bullets. No, every bullet. All bullets. Why? Feed. Feed the more. And you see as, uh, as his mouth is going to open. Goop, look, this is like my primary weapon. It's I okay, I'm special. <laughs> sure. <laughs> I put my bullets in Gooblock's mouth. DM, I have a, DM, I have a question. Them. Now, monks have magical attacks, and that's Gooblock's magical goo. Can I coat Jay's bullets in my magical goo to make them be magical? Like maybe not do it. They don't do anything extra, but they're magical now because they're coated in goo black goo and technically they're all goo black. Dude, you're trying me today. <laughs> you are, you are really. You could just say it's a specific number of attacks, like how many bullets. Oh yeah, is. what if I just like rolled something and it was like, that's how many you can get or whatever. Why don't you just roll an arcana and check? Okay, <laughs> 23. Oh my god. Holy shit, I rolled really well. I'll say, Jay, I will. your next 10 bullets you shoot are magical. That's fucking huge. Okay, That's sick. Awesome. I, I, I spit them out back at her and they're all like, they're like weird purple now and like have a green cap. Uh, and they're like kind of glowing. Face. Yeah, and they stick for some reason <laughs> to things. They're goobly enhanced. Goobly enhanced. That's awesome. Goob go bullets. <laughs> go bullets. Goblets. Wow. has got a couple other things in here too. Yeah, go through his stuff. Fuck that guy. <laughs> <laughs> well, we gotta use whatever we can to get him back. You just hear that that little twinkle of the sprite. I wanna, Ring. I wanna get um Ring. the helping hands are fingerless gloves. Yeah, They're whatever um, you want them to look those. like. Yeah. We can't use them at all. It requires attunement by a sorcerer, wizard, or bard. Oh, really? I don't see that yeah. on the. Oh, yep, there it is. <laughs> Get fucked. Yeah. Um, <laughs> okay. thought, Felipe, Felipe, Felipe that, quick, me. take a level in any of those. <laughs> I also pull out the ocean of greater healing he had and just keep it on me. Uh -huh. And this requires attunement, but somebody should use it because we just have it. I want to pull out the, the necklace. Just kind of hold it in mm. my hand for a second. Mm. Little okay. sick threads, bud. <laughs> snatches, tries to snatch it from you. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? Uh, hey, no. Felipe, actually, yeah, um, how about you just put that on for now? Ha, <laughs> sick. I got my bling, bro. Felipe, you're so much cooler than this Gillian. You're so cool. Charlie, I want to reach in and grab one Thank more thing of back. Gillian's. Is there anything, anything interesting, like... Okay, here's some cool options for you. A magic compass, a pole of collapsing, which does exactly what it says it does, a portable ram, and the dread helm. I guess I was thinking, like, anything special to Gillian that I could just hold on to as well. The dread helm. The dread helm is probably the thing that comes to mind. Then, oh fuck, his shield would be in here. His like, it would be. yeah, his like shell, that sort of spiral shell shield, and a, um, and it would have that sort of holy symbol on it. Uh, that's that's pretty much the stuff in there. Um, besides the necklace and the conch shell. I don't know if that's not. There's like I was looking for like a token of memorabilia, really, but shield. Is real like yeah, that's so you big. find a Gillian Tyser and her Funko Pop inside <laughs> that, he, that he's carried around right. with him. That's I'll fun. have the shield. Can you use it? Yeah. Can Felipe use it? I'm gonna need it, right. bro. I almost fucking died. I'm gonna pull out the shield. Uh Felipe, you should have this too, maybe. Whoa shit. I don't I don't wanna divvy out any more of his stuff. I just No man, you know, keep going. Uh, do okay. I get what do I get? Here, uh, oh go black. I pull out the dread helm. <laughs> that's you know awesome oh my god yeah uh are you serious are you gonna put it on him we're gonna that's need this. Yeah. incredible i'll put that on him 
Okay. Yeah. You see as the dread helm, like <laughs> little little like spirals of goo like creep up the side and the like, red glow <laughs> becomes like green. It's almost more ominous and like weirdly alien now on him. It like glues itself into his body. Holy shit. Jay, there's probably something in here too. Sorry, there's so many pants in here still. <laughs> yeah, we did steal a lot of pants. Those are good times. Yeah. Uh, uh, here. I pull out the hole of collapsing. Hole of collapsing. Yeah, I can hold on to this. Yo, can I hold the briefcase? It makes me feel, like, special. You're already holding, like, a weapon and a shield. Oh, this? This is just a little knife. Let me hold it still. Yeah. Frankly, I just don't trust Felipe with it. With what the hell, man? I've been brilliant. with you forever. You're right. You need real friend old briefcase. Come here. Come on. No, come on. No, come no, on, poor no, guys. Uh-uh, come no, on. No, come no, on. Uh, no. I could use a hug. I believe we have a doctor's appointment, and I want to lift up the sword. Holy shit, it's so heavy. Oh, <laughs> fuck. <laughs> I start dragging it towards the thing. <laughs> I'm getting used to this. Can I have counted as a little short rest, by the way? Yeah. I guess we can finally put in this sequence of codes that this poor fairy has been doing for like 10 minutes. We already did, and it opened the thing. Oh, we did. Okay, sick. She started to uh, follow the sprite. Yep. Mm -hmm. You guys head forward after uh, spreading out Gillian's wares. <laughs> <laughs> Rest in peace. And um, this curious little sprite seems to guide the way. And before we end the session, you guys do get a level. Whoa! Whoa! Yo! And now yeah, we have the session. Goodbye. Oh, 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 my. <laughs> I think I'm going to take take a level. Wait, what? No, say it in the episode. Are you still recording? What do you yeah, take a level gonna, in what? I'm really thinking in, in sorcery. That's nuts. That's fucking crazy, dude. That's so hype. Oh, my God. Rogue Even if it doesn't make any sense, that's still the coolest shit ever. Where we last left Gillian Tidestrider, you had been taken by the Duncan or the Dungeon. You're done gone and Is trapped Dugan? in this, uh, no, no Dugan. Maybe. Who knows? I won't tell. No, I'll never tell. <laughs> <laughs> You're trapped in this, uh, extra dimensional prison. And in your own mind, you sort of awaken into this white space. Soon to be surrounded by four glitchy silhouettes. You recognize all of them as you get a closer look. And then you recognize some of the voices as well. And you come to know that these are the elders of the undersea, the elder council. And they bring it to you to say that you are on trial for crimes against your people and against yourself. Throughout this defense, we're going to explore three of Gillian's strongest flaws, reasons why he is the former champion of the undersea, words straight from one of the silhouette elders, the Wander Genasi. Being too cool, <laughs> working too hard. So the first one we explored was Gillian's wrath. and. In this, you were taken back to some kind of like memory of a training exercise, sort of like a test back in your childhood of being in a mock military camp or Navy camp where your goal, you were tasked with killing all of these Navy soldiers and their families ruthlessly in order to win the war. And at one point, Gillian may have done that, but this time you decided to try and understand and make a different path towards a more peaceful option. It's like reverse killing the younglings. Is, is what like. <laughs> Due to your experiences in the Oversea and how much Gillian has changed. Hopefully. And though you're still a bit unsure and there's still a lot of doubt, the elders found it curious what you decided to do. And the last thing you heard was, we still have two cases to explore. Gillian's pride. And you're standing there again, Gillian, surrounded by the Elder Council. Just okay. after images with no discernible details besides their voice that echo all around you. And the Genasi Elder speaks again and says, Are you still the same young man who puts destroying life or destroying evil before saving life? Perhaps your disposition has evolved in this area as well. I believe that it has, but I'm going to assume that you're not just going to ask me. <laughs> The most familiar elder voice comes from the tide, or uh, not the tide strider, the fucking <laughs> father. <laughs> no, not daddy. What a twist! Uh, the uh, god damn it, what is the triton, the triton. And he says, well, correct, we shall put it to the test. And the area around you is starting to do that sort of 
warp into a transition into another environment. I will try my best by everyone. Hopefully. You're saying this as everything is sort of shifting around you and you find yourself in what you would assume is another simulation, training simulation based on your memories from your childhood. This time you stand on one wide road of white cobblestone mixed with gravel and pearlescent pebbles. And the road is flanked by undersea townhome buildings nestled in between giant corals and seaweed. And this town is built on one of the many sea stacks, which are the stacks of rock that form under the water. And you recognize this town to be your hometown. Before you get a chance to soak it all in, being outside of the capital here, oh, pun intended, by the way, <laughs> <laughs> a figure rapidly descends and crashes on the road about 20 feet in front of you, posed in this sick and Sick as fuck landing. Oh, fuck! Oh, <laughs> shit! God damn it! He knows how to bait me! Oh, shit! You notice as the dust and, and, and gravel and just the, the debris is kind of settling, the first thing that you see is what looks like very similar armor. And he stands up. <laughs> and it's no a way. similar stature. And you notice similar hair, similar features, although the eyes glow bright red. And there's a bit of undeadness to the look. Why do I keep having to fight shadow versions of myself? <laughs> what does this mean? And it seems like you're looking at a very evil, just by appearance, reflection of yourself. He points his sword, and you would also notice that you have your old sword. Not the oh, Destiny's shit. Blade, but you have your old sword at your hilt, and you're in full armor at the moment, and he points his sword at you, and he says, Gillian Tidestrider. <laughs> I've come to fuck shit up, and you're looking like shit. Gillian visibly, for the <laughs> first time ever, sweats, like, full on, like, holy shit. <laughs> what do you do? Um, <laughs> Fright me, okay. coward. God, this isn't even a nightmare, this is now a dream. Um, okay, Gillian, 100%. Is going to is going to look down, see his old sword, draw it, fucking kiss it, because the last time he saw this, it was in someone's dad. <laughs> hold it out, <laughs> hold it out towards him, and say, um, oh god, god got your tongue, one. stupid bitch. <laughs> <laughs> That's not what I sound like. I say cooler stuff than that all the time. Like this, I'm gonna say something really cool right now, and it's gonna really make you rethink your evil ways. Check this, check this out. Hang on, it's coming to me. Ah, Destiny! <laughs> gonna, gonna run at him. Wow, so cool, I'm shaking in my boots. I don't wear boots. And he charges you. You and, evil and, motherfucker! And the, two of you, the two of you clank swords, and he gets real close, and he says, Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> I look down, and he's got, he's got the fucking biggest shoes I've ever seen. <laughs> he's the opposite of me in every single way. All right, roll and I shit. clash with him. I clash with roll him, and the sweat shit. flies off my brow. Then I look at him, and I say, Holy shit. You're completely dry. As <laughs> I roll initiative. Your initiative is negative two, bro. My initiative is negative two. Okay, well, is this as well, so it gets a zero. This is the power of Gillian. You got a zero? It gets a zero. I got, I got a 17. All right, so you go first. Go ahead and take yeah. uh, take your first action. What you're going to do here, you are both in melee range now, standing in the middle of this town, the road that, uh, that intersects this town, the main road of this town. Holy shit. Do I still have... I got to ask, um... Am I still at the HP I was at before I got sucked into the orb? All this shit. Didn't you take damage within the last memory? I think so, but when I but I've I've had it marked so that I've Did always you? had, like I haven't changed anything since that that day that we got sucked into the Feywild. I'm pretty sure my sheet has been the same. Okay, so I'll say that you're you're full health for this at least. Yeah. There can only be one moisture master. Oh God, dude. Oh God. I'd feel so wrong, but it feels so right. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Gillian is going to, he's going to fucking lift up his foot and step on this guy's stupid fucking boots. His steel toed. And, uh, <laughs> yeah, his, his steel toed boots. And you see as ice uh, uh, comes out basically from that point and starts to shoot up his body. And I'm going to try and um, quicken cast hold person. What's the save? Wisdom? Wisdom safe. Yeah. Oh god, it's me! He's so good at these! <laughs> oh no! <laughs> He's like a 27. Fuck! 
<laughs> you rolled like a natural 18, bro. Oh, no. Okay. All right, that fails. In that case... It was feeling um, a little steamy, and now I am chilled. Thank you, loser. Are you trying to help or hurt me? <laughs> I'm not seeing it! Uh, I'm going to go ahead and just take my two attacks. <laughs> chill out, bro. Did you just say chill out? Yeah, die like a loser. <laughs> <laughs> you were like, maybe I really do need to reevaluate everything. <laughs> oh, God, I got a 10 to hit and a like 24 to hit. Is your armor back on, by the way? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Should I put it back on? Yeah, yeah, you're good. Uh, right. The 24 hits. Uh, I'm going to do 11 radiant damage. And I and I hate myself, so I'm going to smite it at third level. <laughs> <clears throat> and add 48. Ah! Take that! Me? Uh, 29 damage total. Good stuff. Good stuff. You're lucky I literally forget what I'm here for now. Is it his turn? Absolutely, yeah. Hey, bud. <laughs> Get this one. Yep, yeah, yeah, bud. Natural 20. <laughs> <laughs> he looks at you and he says, not to make a pun, but you're a little washed. And he, uh, and he fucking hits the shit out of you. <laughs> I, I, I look him in the eyes, and I see his sword light up, and I say, Oh, this might hurt! And I look directly into the cameras, and I'm going to be now instantly killed. <laughs> it kind of uh, explodes with a shadowy red mixture, like misty Jesus red. Uh, like black mist with red lightning, it fucking shoots up the sword, and he fucking hits you with it. Dude, I'm pretty sure I can one-shot myself. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, go ahead and, and tell me what uh, your normal one would be. Do you, yeah, so it is crit damage on the sword. It's 2d10. D10? Yeah, because it's dual wielded, right? Like two arm, two hands. Oh, usually I don't, but he can. Oh, he uh, does. So it's t it's 2d10. Oh, God, he's so evil. <laughs> uh, 2d10 plus three, and that's plus 8d8 if he's smiting at third level on a crit. That is 2d10 D plus four plus 8d8. And I don't have the numbers here, but this could hurt. Okay, so you take... 12 points of slashing damage about half as much as he could have done but then the real okay. juice hits you as you take 42 oh, points of necrotic oh, smite damage oh, and he says unholy smite bitch oh it's like Earl's back with me oh that's juicy um, oh. that's an action and a bonus action he has a second attack he does <laughs> yeah he does <laughs> he might kill me <laughs> I'm almost dead and with this, I have a taste of my blinding blade, blade, bitch. I rolled it. Uh, I didn't roll enough to hit you, I'm pretty sure. So he misses. Thank God. <laughs> and after that, he, uh, he just smiles at you with this sinister fucking cracked out smile that you may have not seen before, but you felt this kind of emotion in your many okay. battles. It's like he's always cracked out Gillian. Oh, no. You also notice... That when you oh. fought the evil version of yourself in Chip's dream, it was like e Chip's mind's version of Gillian. And it was like, yeah, it was technically the, sh the evil version of Gillian, but it wasn't anything that Gillian, you know, would actually do because it's not from Gillian's brain. But whenever right. you're fighting this fallen Gillian, it is, the most Gillian? it is the most authentically evil version of yourself that you've ever experienced. And it just it feels too close to home. Like, you can tell, oh, like, this is some shit. shit that you would be doing if you were... If him. I was evil? Okay. And you don't even need to find sense to know that this motherfucker has evil. Yeah, I don't even need to sniff. It permeates my nostrils. <laughs> Ooh, baby. He says, I'm evil, stupid bitch, kill me or lose. <laughs> <laughs> Die a failure. <laughs> I'll never be like you, so I'm gonna hit you real hard. <laughs> I, I'm gonna I'm gonna go up to to smack him again as I also start to get the same cracked out expression, and I'm gonna stop for just a second. And because I am beat the fuck up, remember why I'm here, and just quickly kind of like side eye around the situation where I am right now. Okay, roll a uh, roll a perception. Oh shit, thirteen. Um, not quite high enough to get the full scope because you're just quickly side eyeing. You can sense just by you can sense there's something off in the vicinity. Hey. Evil Gillian? I'm just real Gillian. I'm the best one. No, I'm the, I'm the real Gillian. one and I'm the best. But did you do something evil by chance? <laughs> when have I not? Are you catching on Wait to something, second. Gillian? Or are you about to lose this fight? Are I don't know. Them? I always tell the truth. So does that mean you always lie? Does that mean you didn't do something? I guess you'll just have to wait and find out, bitch. <laughs> <laughs>
Sensing that something is up, you see. Hey, as... wait, wait, what are you doing? <laughs> Fight me, coward. <laughs> No, yeah, you suck. Failure. You're a failure if you don't win. Stop, stop <laughs> saying it. You're going to make me fight you. You're going to make me fight you. I'm not. Listen, okay, evil Gillian. I'm not falling for your evil tricks because I would never do tricks, which means you're doing tricks right now to me, aren't you? You can't beat one evil in front of you just because it's yourself. You're never going to be good enough. I'm going to fart on you. Um, and I'm going to. Do I'm it, gonna... bitch. I eat those for <laughs> breakfast. <laughs> <laughs> what did he say he had for breakfast? My own farts! <laughs> You're a lot, man. <laughs> I'm you. Uh, I'm gonna fucking hit him. Um, <laughs> this time, I'm gonna use Glacial Blade! So, I'm gonna light up my sword with this, uh, this, this frosty energy, and I'm gonna try and fucking hit my stupid AC. God, I wish it wasn't so high now! 25 to hit. That hits. He takes 8 radiant damage. Okay. He takes That's doubled. two cold damage, and if he moves, he'll take damage. And then I'm going to bonus action. I make like a. It, it almost looks like these sort of uh, uh, this is like ball of black tentacles in my hand, and I slam it down on the ground, and I say, uh, "Vengeance, vengeance, power, go!" <laughs> and uh, go, go gadget, <laughs> vengeance. It, ex it explodes <laughs> out into this sort of like a uh, uh, black uh, inky cloud. And when it clears, Gillian is gone as I'm going to misty step on top of one of the buildings, if I can do that. Okay, this is your hometown, so, so do you pick a building in particular that you remember? I'm just going to get on top of the highest thing I can get on top yeah, of. Yeah, go for it. And if I can, I'm going to sort of just survey the horizon now that I'm that I'm the higher up. See where he's planted bombs in the city? <laughs> <laughs> okay, so <laughs> roll perception with advantage. As I stand with one knee on the railing. A 20, not natural. And this ends your turn? Y yeah, I did that with attack and action? bonus action. So this is all, this is my turn. With the 20, you look around and in some of the windows, you can see that there are people that you didn't notice before. And the fallen Gillian looks up at you and he says, well, 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 Gillian Tidestrider, consider me surprised by your uh, unself-absorbed decision-making. It's called being a hero, something you would know nothing about, evil Gillian! Oh, I know what it means to be a hero, and a hero always wins, which you know nothing about, Gillian. <laughs> no, that's where you're wrong, evil Gillian. A hero does what's right. Well, you've caught me. A bit early, and also I'm, sometimes I say. wins. In the next few blows, perhaps I would win, or perhaps you would. But I had a plan all along that I didn't expect you to see because your pride always gets in the way, Gillian Dodge Rider. Yes, there are bombs around the city, and every <laughs> <laughs> there are bombs around the city. Each building has a family, and even one of them is yours. I even hear your sister is in town visiting parents who never cared about you enough. And there's a bomb in there, too. I tell you what, oh, Gillian, you let me what? go right now. And I won't explode all these bombs in this city on my turn coming up. But you'll lose, and evil will walk another day. So what will you choose? Your loved ones? Can I, can I see how he's planning to detonate the bomb? He holds up a button. <laughs> And you're like so you far away. Have a bomb button. <laughs> you're so far away now because you've gone to the top of a building. You're shouting oh, at each shit. other. Holds up a button. He says, What will you choose, Gillian? Your loved ones? Oh, is... Or your pride? What would the chosen one do? He starts to, to put his sword away in his back. He sheaves it on his back, which you do not. He starts to like to like back up a little bit. Back up with the bomb detonator. I will be going now, failure. <laughs> <laughs> or we can finish the battle and see who wins. You see happy families, children that remind you of you. Your house is in the distance, but you're not near. I'm going to take the sword that I'm still holding and say, it's true. Either one of us <laughs> could have won this battle. Still <laughs> <laughs> is like 20 HP. But this isn't over, evil Killian. I'm coming for you. And I'm going to I'm going to drop my sword off the roof for now and watch him back away into the shadows holding the bomb detonator for the bombs that evil Gillian has planted all around the city. And I'm like straining really hard. <laughs> Wait, what's that? Okay, I look over. 
<laughs> and um, Evil Gillian tosses the, or Fallen Gillian tosses the button that will explode all the bombs. And as he does, he also sort of torpedoes in the opposite direction. But as uh, before he is fully, you know, escapes, he says, when I look at you, Gillian, I see stupid. But when I, I see that when you look at me, you see doubt and hatred. Get your shit together, man. We're one and the same. You're just a few choices from being me. Rawr, Gillian away! And then he's fucking like, <laughs> he just torpedoes out of there. And uh, I'll say that you managed to catch the button without it. Okay, I was really worried it was gonna like land on the button. You know what, roll, 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 roll a slide hand, Jack. Oh, you motherfucker, slide of hand, I have minus two! I got a natural one! <laughs> <laughs> That's so oh funny. No, All right. I'll never be like you. Catches the button on the fucking. <laughs> <laughs> Gillian is so. It's still a, a canonical screw, so it makes sense. I'm going to roll, and it's going to be half and half. That is genuinely so fucking funny, dude. All right. So, no matter what it takes, I'll always do ruts. Whoa, 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 whoa. You, you try to catch it, you hit it, you keep slippery, slippery. like smacking it, and it's like just floating through the the water. And you watch it sort of dink on one side, flip over, and act like it's about to hit the button, and then it just lands on its side. And it's a very close call. Oh, thank you, gods, because if that happened, I would have straight up become evil. And I need you now to just roll a d20 and. Okay. If you roll above a seven, I'll tell you what happens. Gillian is is glaring at at evil Gillian as he as he runs away. Sixteen. Fantastic. With a sixteen, subconsciously you know that this has given you some sort of strength to continue on with these cases, this trial, and to continue on in general, even after your imprisonment, whenever that should end. But there was a chance that the weight of all the doubt you carry and your decisions could get heavier. And before this scene sort of fades away, what would Gillian have done in the past? It would have never been against himself. It would have always just been against this monstrous, evil person. Sometimes maybe a Navy soldier, sometimes maybe just someone who's evil. What would he have done during this conflict, this test? As you sort of watch it play in front of you, like a- Yeah, Gillian would have said the things he always says, he, he would say uh, that it is my destiny to, to strike you down. And he and he would with no hesitation or remorse with everything he had. And he would enjoy it feeling somewhere and to feel like it was right. Or this um, environment fades, you watch a uh, opaque version of yourself, younger, much younger, run around and fight some evil entity and you'd always win you remember always winning those battles and you'd look up at the sky as if you're looking up towards the people who trained you or the elders looking up for approval and you would always be met with disappointment and it strikes you now that maybe you know why and it fades and you're in that white space again and you're surrounded by the elder council and you hear (laughs) i know he got away who knows where well, well, he's going to put the bombs next time. What he is trying to say, the train speaks. Gillian, before we move on to the last and final case, do you feel your decisions are sufficient, satisfactory? Would you say, as the chosen one, you are good enough? Gillian um, looks down. No, and I don't think I don't think I ever have been. Is this your final statement for your defense on this case? Then we shall move on. Yes. I accept whatever verdict you decide, as always. Gillian Tidestrider, we have one final case to explore in the three primary sins that you carry, and that is a flaw without an easy title or an easy description, but one that is impulsiveness, rashness, quick action without quick judgment. We will see. Yeah, that's fair. We will see if this path you walk it's truly your destiny. And for now, that's where we leave Gilliam. Hoo-hoo! <laughs> Shit, man! Oh, I love fighting evil Gilliam, and it just keeps so happening, funny. and I enjoy it more every single time. <laughs> One better way.
Oh my god. <laughs> All right, guys. I hope you enjoy the episode that you just listened to and an update on Gillian and his um, exploits or whatever's going on here. I almost blew up a city. <laughs> Legitimately, I almost blew up a city. This is what happens. I I need I need Chip and Jay. <laughs> you, bro, they need Killian. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, we'll see. We actually, at the time of recording this, um, this could be going out later than we've recorded, so um, they could actually be in a shit ton of trouble right now. Yeah, and I have a That's feeling fun. they will be. I say foreshadowing things that have not happened yet, <laughs> but I know could happen um, in the future. Anyways, goodbye. <laughs> goodbye. Oh, no. Hey, hey, guys. I just want to quickly thank our $50 patrons who have supported this podcast so much, such as Turtle9591, Frogus, the last of the Frogus line- lineage, Hollow the Fallen Prince, Kiwi Palm, Greeley, Daxi Boy, Vapor, Chunk Lord, Okerberus, Did Someone Say Colin? I'm butt flusting. Agar Steeljaw, Beans, Wolfie, Jaden Grant, Joey Madness, Pippin the Magi, Just Gherkin, Mega Cyanix, Payne Lambert the Snazziest, Sweet Cacti, Baka Seven, Pals the Folded Pizza Zone, The Awesome Man, Fly Guy, Amber Curry, I See Sharky, Man Made Imp, Your Personal Gesture, Jordan Darlin, Red Sus Over Paradise, Sleepy Wither, Mr. Nacho, Wild James, Kev Senpai, I have Jedi'd, now I am Jedi'd, <laughs> Finrua, Mitchell Iverson, Mithril Gear 417, Juzombo, Bosco, Grand Archer, Riker Zinn, Artemis Loves You, Definitely Not a Turtle, Krobins, Pengu, Deathclaw, Scarab 5, Sandy 007, Cheshire, Star Crowned Ravings, Blue Blum Blop, Zerberus, Elvish Cyborg, Alyssa, Lord Ticklefish, Spinyax, Buttery Toast, Raytheon, Expoogaloo. Serene is actually a skeleton. Material Seaweed. Teddy Love Bites. Gillian's Biggest Fan. Cornier Comet. Sorcerer Punk. Riker Kurotu. Nonzalotl. Funny Hats Incorporated. JRWI Enjoyer. And of course, Jay Newell. Thank you guys so much for supporting the podcast as much as you do. I have to go to a wedding. Uh, I'm doing this very last minute. Bye bye. <laughs>